Hey guys, welcome to the stream views from the vault episode 188 this week in caps goes in a couple minutes full jam-packed house uh, Today for you guys this Friday evening Make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video Let us know you're here in the comments and for now enjoy this beat by the BP mercenaries Super Bowl weekend, baby Valentine's Day weekend, honey <laughs> Hope you guys are ready. Sounds oh, like a ready. weather alert. It sound like a weather alert. Yeah, that was letting me know Taylor Swift has just landed in Vegas. I'm following everything that Taylor Swift does. Are you are you at the Super Bowl? No, right now I'm at the New Era headquarters. So if you see, um <laughs> I came to see what the whole talk they're, they're actually giving me a chance. Uh, these are the guys with with uh, associates and bachelor's degrees right here. They're the ones that make the hats at New Era. Um, we got Heather over here. <laughs> Heather is responsible for some of your favorite New Era cap collections. Uh, then we got um, Maria, and we got Trang, and um, they're all excellent. You're they pointing at, you're pointing in the opposite directions. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, Trang, Maria, and Heather and yeah um they, they're wonderful over here i don't know i don't know um how they got the job but um uh, yeah they're over here working on threads right now all your basic threads metallic threads they're getting the hats ready man and um i'm having a wonderful experience here at new era buffalo you know what that background reminds me of and when i was when i would do vlogs there was almost almost every time i would do a vlog i'd go into a store where someone would insult the store owner and say uh you know where are these hats made these are fake you must be making them in the basement that's what that background reminds me of <laughs> like clockwork every single vlog i did there's always one store that had a cut someone that went into the store and said that to one of the store owners yeah maria maria tried to hook up with me and i told her sexual harassment so pump your brakes i'm married <laughs> Okay, snap. You keep telling yourself that, man. Oh, shit. Well, we're going to have, a, I think we're going to have a good show today. We're going to talk about some polarizing topics, maybe get under some people's skin, which is always fun. Yeah. Um, and Pierre, guess what else? What's that? We're going to add the shopping cart. Oh, that's right. The shopping cart. So, snap came up with uh, a, a fantastic idea. And once we get started here, after we show off our hats, I'm going to have you tell everybody, Snap, what your idea was. And I like it. I like it. Awesome. I cannot wait. It's been a, been a long week, man. It's been a long yeah. week. Nah, I don't do rants anymore. We're just going to do... We, I, I focus my energy to, like, the topics. You know? They just naturally come from that. Did you did you um hear the the letter that Joe R sent me? I ha I got the same letter. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure that you're his favorite member and you stuck in the Cold War. Uh, and this no. will be the last letter he's gonna write you ever. No, he basically he basically said, um, I can't stand that son of a bitch snap. I keep sending him hats only because I send you one. And I don't want him to feel left out. That's what he wrote in the note to me. <clears throat> it's a beautiful hat, though. Yeah, I'm over here thinking he's in the Piscopaya Bay area, or whatever the heck he's at, whatever uh, Telegram area he sent me that from. Yeah, yeah. everybody. I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm good. I, you know, I had some stuff going on, but I'm back. I am back. You, sh you shock dropped this hat today. Which one? That one. That was yesterday. Damn. That was yesterday. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. It's like um all my orders are are, are lost at sea. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't Once that we did though, there's gonna be so much stuff, man. It's probably gonna be a bunch of orders all at one time. It's those Houthi pirates. I know those Houthi pirates are wearing and a bunch Houthi of pirates. toppers for USA hats out in the sea. Mm -hmm. It's like jeez. Fucking pirates ruin everything. Yeah. These these sons of bitches. Anyone happen to catch Tucker Carlson interview Putin? Putin, I saw nope. bits of it. 
Dude, that's insane, man. That guy is crazy. I would never see. He was in the Kremlin interviewing that guy. Which which one's crazy? They're both crazy. They are, but Putin is. Oh my god. Okay, we we did our New Year's Eve New Year's Day. Yes, just finished. What what what'd you have? Uh, what didn't we have? We had fish, lobster, um, meatballs, sweet and sour pork, rice, soup, the whole. The whole uh, menu. Did you have spaghetti with the meatballs? No spaghetti was seen on the table today. Were there rice noodles? No rice noodles. No rice noodles. Damn. Mm. I do like a good rice noodle, though. I do, too. Ah, uh, well. No, nah, listen, yeah, listen, I just got to share one thing. The scariest part about that whole interview when I watched it today was the fact that he knew Tucker Carlson applied to the CIA and he was turned down. <laughs> he dropped that in the middle of the interview, like basically saying, listen, son of, you son of a bitch, I know everything about you. I know where you are. I know everything. How long was the interview? Two hours, man. man. Two hours. But right, let's talk about more fun stuff. Let's start this countdown. It's the views from the ball live and direct and it slaps the finest of fitted to community built on caps. Sponsored in part by the best in the business. No suggestions of fitted to classics and vintage. New era sickness fire in the mix is ridiculous. It ain't no secret to the dopeness. If you're not focused, you left hopeless. Speaking of science of drops and what's tops. Pierre, Leon, Jason from the for bringing you nothing but hot. Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision. It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of a system. To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get it. All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is. BP merch work the sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's dubs and somersaults. Welcome to a whole nother level of fitted. This views from the vault. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. This week in caps, episode 188 goes right now. Uh, Snap, Jason, Leon, and Pierre joined by our good friend Arian. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Pierre, take it away. Listen, man, this is going to be a good show. We got a lot lined up for you guys today. We've got um, not only the uh, this the normal This Week in Caps lineup, but we have three topics we're going to dive into. Snap is going to unveil a new element to the show. If it's successful, we'll continue on with that element of the show. Um, it's called a shopping cart. Snap, um, he's a creative little man. Every now and then he uh, he pops out a little idea. And he's uh, he's live from Bangladesh in one of the uh, New Era <laughs> half factories. Um, and he's uh, he's live and direct from yeah. uh, one of these secret factories out in Bangladesh. So, uh, Snap, I want to thank you for joining us from uh, far and away um, out in Bangladesh. Gotta be um, but for now, there, right? what's that? It's got to be Saturday morning there now, right? Or Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon? It must be. Yeah. I can't believe you found a foreign country he's allowed in. <laughs> right. we, yeah. had, we, had to, we had to smuggle him in. Well, yeah, you don't have that I, map handy, do you? Uh, I have it. Hold on. Hold on. Can we pull that up, maybe? I, I, I think we should talk about this. I think, I think we never really unveiled the map, so we might as well show off the map. And, and this map is basically um, places where SNAP is no longer allowed. So um, we've started a, um, a pretty in-depth um, world map that will allow you all to have a better understanding of where he's allowed. Um, and I'll give Leon a minute here to, um, yeah, I gotta find well, they, well, they welcomed me with open arms here. Um, at Bangladesh, I've been redirecting packages to, to the stores that deserve it. So fam cap has a lot of your favorite stores hats. Now, uh, fam cap will be releasing, uh, some amazing stuff. All right. Uh, everything's being redirected to, <laughs> nice. nice snap so you, you you redirect a lot of packages great they finally are gonna have some decent hats over there at fam cap <laughs> but uh you were probably coerced because i remember when you when you told us that jason was gonna get killed by by uh the owner yeah. of fam cap for uh i remember that i remember that oh, line. i'm still waiting for that knock on the door hey jason had it out for him man <laughs> <laughs> Jason had it out for him. And you remember when they used to put themselves in all the photo shoots, they looked like a mafia, man. They had they had they had some they had some like scary looking dudes in there. They they are from Moscow. So they're from you know, probably uh sons of former KGB. Wow, so so, so look at this. I mean, this is interesting. Now, 
I want you to be reminded there is one place I'm not allowed. If Leon, if you are you able to zoom in on this, Leon, or is this not something you can yeah, zoom in on? This is static right now. Um, I can open this in Photoshop. Or, we probably yeah. should because we want to really get a good feel for yeah. where uh, I'm still allowed in a lot of places. Uh, the the black is where I'm not allowed. Well, then I, I'm good. But I like, snap, snap's in all honesty, not, I like how Snap's not allowed from the whole continent of Australia. <laughs> or, or yeah, I think Asia is like the whole entire Asia. Well, I don't know. We might have to like listen. This is where we need some crowd uh, participation here. Some uh, some of our viewers here. If you're seeing a place we may have missed, um, because I don't think technically I don't think he's allowed in Canada, Leon. Honestly, no. I oh no, they he's... love me in Canada, Toronto. Still, they love me. You can, so you, as can, you, can notice, you are missing one thing though where Jason's not allowed, uh, Leon. Jason, oh, Lawrence, Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence, Kansas. All right, we'll add that. So, we should Canada. add that, right? And, and Canada, and Canada, yeah. He's insulted yeah. Canada more often than anybody else, yeah. yeah. Canada and Lawrence. Oh, someone said we missed the San Diego area for Snap. So, there are parts of uh, the United States that and, Snap and, really and allowed. most of the Midwest. Well, I just said something nice last show about uh, about San Diego. I wished everybody safety and well being because of the floods. Mm. Nobody else did that. I'm the one that that, that wished well being and safety at, at San Diego. That should give me that should give me the pass at San Diego now. I think this area is Jamaica, if I'm recalling correctly. Oh, because yeah, because of the lady from Sneaker Town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Le Leon, 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 you got to add Arkansas and Nebraska and oh, Iowa okay. to Iowa. To, to, yeah. They love me in Brazil. I mean, but wasn't he talking nasty about um about some areas of the Middle East when he was talking about taking that that trek across the Middle East? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Did you mark that one out? I believe so. So what's that little country between India and China? Japan, so he's allowed in Japan. Nepal, mm. on oh, Nepal, Nepal. I feel like he has Nepal. to have said something about Japan all the times though. Time yeah. has have been brought up. He definitely has. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Japan's right here. He, he's yeah, um, he's he blocked from there merely for uh, always confusing Leon for yeah. being Japanese. Yeah, uh, South you Korea, can, no good. And after he gets home, after his trip right now, you can probably black out Bangladesh. I'm sure he won't be allowed. Yeah, at least, sure I, can, at least I can. At least I can go to Mongolia. Who he want did to go talk there? about lady boys in Thailand once, so I'm not sure yeah. he's allowed there either. Right. <laughs> like, if you really, if you really <laughs> dig in here, there's a lot places more left. places this guy's not allowed. I love how North Korea isn't blacked out. Yeah, it's not. He can go there if he wants to, but good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but South Korea is off the map. Yeah, yeah Jesus. I'm map. pretty sure he's. Are you allowed back in Venezuela? Snap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't man. know why we have Libya here. Did you do something to them? <laughs> it's not dark. <laughs> the flag is there. Right? I mean, <laughs> maybe you accidentally put a, put yeah. a flag on me on. Or maybe, right, I, okay. maybe I meant to put Egypt. Mm. Oh, Egypt. That's probably right. Yeah. Yeah, Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. Because I asked if, if, if the guy, if, if Shaheen was from Egypt. Yeah. That's right. What's this? Well, listen, what for all of you out there, if you if you guys know of any other countries he's not allowed in, please let us know. Now, let's zoom into the United States, though. In the interest oh. of being accurate with our map, our, our map here, I do understand why I'm not allowed in West Virginia. I'm 100 percent sure. Um, I've 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 made fun of West Virginia many times, many times. But snap, I think um, Iowa, he's not allowed in because he's made yeah. fun of Iowa. A ton of times, Leon, and, and Nebraska, and Before Nebraska, Nebraska and Arkansas. Not that, not that anybody would ever fucking want to go to Nebraska. But yeah, he's, he's not a lot there. Yeah. Snap. Where's the place where you made the most hats with colored eyelets? That'd be uh, I, Miami. Miami. So Florida is already off the map. Is there? Yeah. There's no other place there. Colorado. Ooh, Colorado. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well just put a big black streak down the middle of the United States. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So I think this map is starting to really um it's really starting to Yeah, we'll 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 post it once we get it updated. Um, yeah, we gotta make sure it's accurate. We had to hold back a little bit because it wasn't completely accurate. Well, there's a lot of places we had to X out, so it's like yeah. Mm. As as long as I'm able I'm available to go to Puerto Rico, Hawaii, uh fucking Las Vegas, Atlanta, 
I'm good. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, that's the map. We're uh, we're good. Is there any place Leon's not allowed though? Because he, you know, Leon likes to fly Le- under the radar, not be controversial. Leon's universally loved. Yeah. Yeah. Where's he not? He, there's got to be a place where he's not allowed though. Uh, probably St. Louis. St. Louis. That's Why St. One. Louis? Oh my God! Don't even don't. <laughs> yeah, open that can of worms, please, man. The was snappy. No, 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 no. Guys, Make stop. it snappy, Leon. All right, no, you guys. Uh, you guys ready to show off our hats and get started here? Oh, yes, Car- Carl says we're we're all banned from West Virginia. All of us. All of us. Just by guilty by association, I guess. You know, because we didn't marry our cousins, so we're we're not. Oh, we were, I, lo- I like Carl, man. Carl's a good <laughs> dude. He's the only guy from West Virginia I like. But if you want to know in a nutshell why I don't like West Virginia, watch the movie Deliverance. If you watch that movie, you'll understand why I don't like the state of West Virginia. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get started by showing off our hats. Let's look, 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 look at this guy. This is Jersey fitted. Is West Virginia still a state? He said uh, earlier. Some of these places shouldn't even be considered states. You got fucking jersey in your name. You're you should be fucking talking. <laughs> but maybe that means he's wearing a jersey. And oh a yeah. Uh huh. Pierre's Pierre's banned from Akron, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, and Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Los oh, Angeles. I'm not banned from Los Angeles. They like they like him in LA. Yeah. LeBron James, baby. I don't yeah. want. Who wants to go to Canton? Oh, who was the last time you were supposed to say I, I want to really go to Akron? Like who's ever said that? Like I want to go to Akron. Oh, dude, I, I swear to God, Cleveland is the fucking shithole of the United States. Dude, that when is I got the off worst the plane, place in the world. Hundred percent. I got off the plane once over there, and it smelled like straight sewage. And they said, I guess it was, it was Lake Erie or something. They were trying to tell me it was from the breeze off of Lake Erie. I'm like, ugh, it was nasty. Great, nasty. Jersey fitted. You have more people in your town to get in your fucking way and annoy the fuck out of you. So good for you. <laughs> Jersey fit is a good dude, though, man. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I I, I don't like New Jersey either that much, but uh-huh. but I do like Jersey fitted. He's a good guy. I'm um, just like I like Carl, but I, I think Carl comes from the worst state in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we think can't, we, we can't help where we're born. What are the worst states in the country if you really think about it? So each of you pick the worst state. Mississippi, uh, that's a good one. Uh, Nebraska. Nebraska, okay. Leon? Mm-hmm. Florida. No. Florida's got nice weather. Uh, it does got nice weather and good – and and it's just, you know, crazy shit happens in Florida, that's all. Yeah, Florida, man. Should we expose – Leon, why don't you introduce our guest? You didn't even really introduce him. Mm-mm. All right. Well, he's in – and then he can pick his, his most horrible state. He he is a, a long time watcher. I do believe his uh, his uh, thumbnail or his avatar is it? Do- it's Doc Ellis, right? It was Doc Ellis. I just recently switched it, but yeah. Okay. He's wearing the Doc Ellis. Um, a- Ariel, um, our snap brought him on to Mail Call Mondays. He did so well that Pierre invited all four participants. And this is a uh, participant number two, so Arian joins us. Um, so Arian, what's the worst state in the union? In the union, so like the original, like the original thirteen, or <laughs> let's start with the original thirteen, oh. and then we'll expand it to the, the to the now. Oh, uh, not nah. all right. Well, I'm from Jersey, so I don't I don't tolerate the Jersey disrespect. But I'm just I'm from I was like born and raised in Jersey. Well, but, get um, used to it because I'm gonna lay it on fucking thick tonight. <laughs> Uh, but um, I can't really like I don't know the worst state like West Virginia like Pierce said I don't know I never like never like wanted to go to West Virginia I hear I don't hear anything good about West Virginia and then Florida is like what Leon said like when you're outside of the U.S. you think Florida is the worst state but like it's just the funnest state kind of but but sometimes it is the worst state for some other reasons but I don't know I don't know what the worst state is. Mm. So have you seen the movie Deliverance? No, I haven't seen it. All right, buddy. He's, he's I want to. Wa- I'm gonna watch it though. I, I take you up on your recommendations. <laughs> you need that. You need to watch um, Deliverance, and then you're All gonna right, understand buddy. what I'm talking about. All right. And Carl will tell you. Carl will tell you. He 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 actually he's being he's being a little coy here and he's talking a little bit. 
But he admitted it the first time I said it. Yeah, it's pretty bad out here. It's pretty bad out here. All right, so you guys ready to uh, show off the hats now? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, yeah, I showed off my hat a bit, but this is the Doc Ellis from uh, Pro Image Colorado. Mm. I got this when it came out. Um, and then I watched – I'm not a big baseball guy, but I watched the Doc Ellis documentary, No No, I think it's called, and it was, like, really inspiring. I just liked, vibe, uh, liked the story, and I just appreciated Leon making this hat, and it's a really nice hat. Love the – and the cascading logo. You do a lot of LSD. No, I actually never did LSD. Uh, Jason did in uh, Lawrence, Kansas. That's why he's not allowed there. <laughs> yeah. Just Dude, so you're aware. He's got he he. You have got to like quintuple the weight of your hat with all those pins <laughs> on there. So you stay strong. <laughs> and uh, a strong neck. All right. Uh, I'm wearing a uh, Minnesota Twins uh, two tone from Topper Store USA. Nice, nice hat. Mm -hmm. Match it matched my sweatshirt. Uh, snap live from Bangladesh. I am wearing the hat that I make you say, Oh, this logo is very panicked. The Wolfpack 4.0, beautiful hat hooked to the New York Rangers, I believe. Yes, it is. That's a New York Rangers hook. And did you thank to... did you thank the people behind you for making the hat? <laughs> yeah, um, oh, that was actually China. That was China. Oh, okay. Yeah, on China. Yeah. That Topper Store, you know, is bang. Uh, Topper Store USA on the dome. I believe Paluski is located in Florida. So shout it, out. Is. it is. There it's it's, it's it's a it's probably it's interesting. That the affiliate would be all the way in Florida. Are you sure it's not Pulaski? Pulaski, Paluski, Pulaski. Yeah, it's I don't, Pulaski. Think, I don't think it's it's P L U P U L A P U L A right? Pulaski. Yeah. And here's what I'm wearing today, everybody. This is the Louisville Bats. This is one of two Louisville Bats we did. Black crown, red satin visor. You got Louisville um, written across the front, and then if you kind of look in there, you got two metallic bats as the uh, dots of the eyes, and you got the little bat on the side. You know what? Like when I saw this, it reminded me of Jason Mead. So I wanted to uh, kind of, <laughs> kind of call attention to that. It's got a Jason Mead feel to it, not in a negative way, Jason. And then you've got a uh, a gray under on this baby. So this one will be dropping soon at Topper Store USA. And while we're here, I'm going to show off what's dropping today. So Pierre basically just called that hat sexy, comparing <laughs> <it> to me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the, that indirectly. That's exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the uh, drop of the night. The Dodger dog. This is the shiniest glizzy you're ever going to see. Snap loves a nice shiny glizzy. Yeah, he does. I, uh, I made this the in new, honor of Snap. Your new favorite logo. Why? This is going to be your fastest selling out hat in history. Nah, no, it won't. Um, and you got, we want to do something a little bit different. So we put the LA on the side, green under. This thing came out pretty good, man. I'm not a fan of mascot hats. You all know that, but the people been asking. So uh, Pat and I delivered. The Dodger dog will be dropping at some point today. After tonight, Pierre's going to drop five more Dodger dogs. We'll let you know. Mm -hmm. uh, this hat is nice. No. So, like, you know how we do a 1.0, 2.0, 3.0? You're not going to see that with a Dodger dog. Snap, snap. What's the minimum weight you want in your glizzy? You know what? The bigger, the better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, snap uh, is, like, really when excited I was about in when I went to, When I went to L.A., I had a hot dog with teriyaki chicken on the top of it with the cheeses and all the toppings i was like damn and ever since then when i got back to atlanta i've been looking up hot dog places but i can't find any good hot dog places in georgia mm -hmm. like fuck, I gotta travel out mm -hmm. to get to that ultimate glizz you're pretty frisky today snap i'm excited to see what this is going to bring the show today but um so let's talk about the new the new the new thing that we're going to do today. oh yeah yeah put make snap big Snap, all right, guys. First, like, how excited were you about like all this stuff in the news about Drake? What? You didn't hear anything about it? No, no. <laughs> you didn't hear anything about it? No. <laughs> okay. You crazy. Right. crazy. Um, yeah. we're starting. Yeah, see, he knows, he knows. You see how he's acting like he didn't know at first? Now he knows. Look at him. He knows, <laughs> he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, listen, uh, we're starting a new thing here. So I, I was thinking, I was like, we always review all these hats 
And at the end of the day, we never pick out which ones are our favorite hats. We so try I to say, do it. Super stores we put, but yeah. So we I said, how, about, it, but. how about we start the <laughs> shopping cart? So during the show, if one of us see a hat that we really want, we're going to add it to the shopping cart. And at the end of the show, each of us will have five hats each in our shopping cart that we're mm. going to take home, that we would have taken home with us. So that's the new segment, the shopping cart. So during the show, all of us are going to say, add that to the shopping cart. Okay. But Snap, we can, I ask for, can I ask for one thing though? Yeah. Can we do four instead? Sure. Four. Fine. Four. Reason, I'll tell you why. Because what I'll do is, is when you get me each person's four hats in a collage, I'll then post them in the uh, community tab and people can vote on which one was the best. Okay. Cool beans. Whichever one that was their favorite. Four um, hats. Question. Are we going to show Leon's four hats like a year and a half later? Mm. <laughs> like his, like his, <laughs> like his actual purchases. Yeah. It's crazy. This guy took that box. He took from my hat from, from my house, this newest one. That was before we even thought of creating top restore USA. <laughs> yeah. I want you to think about that. That's how old this is. Some of those, I think were my, were, I didn't watch the video, Leon. Um, I don't want to relive that. I put those in the fucking box. <laughs> but um, where the 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 pinstripe pack I did with Pat was in there, right? Mm -mm. No. Oh, but our pack, our collab with Topper Store was in there. Yeah. Jesus. That's that old. was like two years ago. Yeah. I don't forget. How, did you, how did you just patiently wait for all those? Like I can't even wait for one hat. I'm just used to it because because here's the alternative. If I ship it directly, it's twenty five dollars probably. For one hat, plus you you open yourself up for duties. So the alternative is is use Pierre's house as a as a international shipping hub, let it collect to about a uh, an unreasonable amount, and then smuggle it back into your home country. And they're like he's crossing the border. They're like, what do you got in all those boxes there, buddy? No, they don't <laughs> so even just has. Really, I get very I get very nervous. So he I does get nervous. Like he he like. He almost he wants to leave as soon as he can because he's so nervous about not being able to cross the border. That's why he's got a giant slingshot in Buffalo so, that he shoots the boxes yeah. across the border. <laughs> well, so, if, they, if they saw some of the hats that were from New Era Buffalo, they wouldn't mind those getting across right, the border. Right. Who cares? Well, they would probably stop him. Why are you bringing this trash into our country? Yeah, why are you? Those yeah. things are worthless. All right, uh, you guys. You guys ready to uh, jump into the hats now? And Snap, I want to thank you again for the fantastic idea with the shopping cart. I'm excited to see how that turns out. Um, yes. Let's get started, fellas. All right, we're going to start in the uh, good old uh, Bronx, Bronx for you caps. Drop these. Uh, are th these are new drops? Or was this just a minor league? This is just a shining a light on the minor league that they had, right? Because they had a minor league sale. Um, oh, this was minor league Monday? I believe they were. I believe they were shining a light on their minor league um, yeah, yeah. collection because these are all. Some of these are pretty old, actually. This is almost like watching Leon's unboxing. That 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 um that P is a Poland spring hook. You guys remember that? Yep. Okay. From their beverage. It's okay though. It's a nice. Little, it's a nice little blast from the past, and um and as always, for you caps is known for their um college releases. And uh, snap, you've shined a light on that quite often. How well they do with that, so. If you're looking to get great minor league and great NCAA caps, head over to Four U Caps in the Bronx. Um, and with that, fellas, we're going to move on. I like to say next. I like that St. John's hat is off the chain. Oh Malik my! Sealy. It reminds me of Malik Sealy. Remember Malik Sealy? Yes, Malik Sealy. It reminds me of Chris Mullen. It reminds me of Mark Jackson. No, remember the dude, um, Felipe. Felipe Lopez. He was supposed to be like the next. Like that dude was supposed mm -hmm. to be the next one. It never, it never materialized. But man, send Don um, Hamilton, Omar Cook, Ron Artest, Ron and of Artest, course man, me, because I went there for a semester. Yeah, then you got kicked out for. Uh, I got. I did get kicked out. I got kicked out because I. I did Well, okay. So I didn't know that the fucking school was all religious. And shit. And I get there and I gotta take these fucking religious courses. And the professor was getting on my nerves and I and I and I got mad at the professor and they sent me to see the dean and I was like I was in big shit for giving shit to the about the sociology class that we were taking. But yeah. Well, guys, uh welcome to the world of snap. 
All right, you guys ready to move on to the next shop? Let's do it. 606 Brims, baby. All right, guys, what do you think about these? Ariane, how about we start with you? Um, well, I like the cascading P, but I don't like when it's all white. Um, so like that one's not it for me, but the the Pittsburgh in the middle is clean. I like that. Um, side patch, it's like black and white, so it's all right. But and the Giants is Giants is nice too, but it, it's, it's all right. I'm not a big purple guy. All right, Leon, if you get to the Canadian border and you've got to bribe the border agent with one of these hats, which one are you using? I'll give him the Gigantes. Why? I don't know. I think it's the nicest one out of them all. I agree. That cascading P is kind of odd, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's another pace of Pluma. You're going to see a lot of that. Okay. Are you familiar with Peso Pluma's work, um, Jason? Uh, no, I think I bought one of his paintings uh, a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> one of his paintings. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh my God. God. Yo, is, that, is it, is it, is it, Peso, is it Peso Pluma, an artist from like the early 1900s in Spain? Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. Awesome. Listen, I didn't know. He's like the biggest the biggest like musical act in Mexico now. Mm. He's one of the biggest Latin acts of all Latin America now. After like, he, yeah, he's right there with Bad Bunny. But listen, he, he I oh started paying attention because I didn't realize, remember I didn't realize the guy was following me, right? He's following me. And I, I Now I pay attention. I follow him back. I, I watch his, he's a really nice, he seems like a really nice guy too. He really does. He yeah. seems like a super nice guy. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, Pablo Picasso. Yeah, same difference. So. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the next store, guys. All right. We're gonna go with Big City Cap Zone. Mm. I like some of these. Which one? The is, green is one. Is that Urban Camo back in the catalog? I think that those are that, programs. That was a program hat. Everyone, Every, yeah. everyone's dropped those. Oh, no, no, not top or store USA. I like Urban Camel. Everybody what about but you guys? one has dropped those. <laughs> Everyone but one. I don't think Hat Club did either, though, right? No. You, you guys are you guys I mean, into fanatics the fanatics? Drop those. What you, What'd you say, uh, uh, Jason? Fanatics dropped those. Did they? Like, you know yeah. what this means, though. That means that 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 Urban Camel is going to be in the um, catalog soon. I would imagine. Hopefully. Hopefully. Usually, that's a precursor to it showing up in the catalog. I want. I hope so. I love it. Me too. When um when um the guy at uh, Crown Legends, uh, the chef, he did it. I was I was in love with it, man. That that um, mm -hmm. Bubba Ray Bubba or whatever. Ray. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are 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 these camels going to be um? Uh, oh no, it's Polly right here. Never mind. I, I thought. It, oh no, that's because of the. It's not on the crown. If it, if it's on the crown, is it going to be cotton? No, I think that one's Polly. I thought. Urban camos. I think Polly. Yeah. I think it is. I'm not 100 percent sure though. Ariane, what's your favorite on this? Uh, on this slide. Favorite, um, probably the, the blue Astros with the pink hits. Or the brown Astros uh, on the left. I, I like I like brown and mocha colors, but I just hate that one on the bottom left because the Astrodome patch. Or else I'd like that one. That Astrodome patch is pretty obnoxious, right? Yeah, I'm just not a fan of all those stadium patches at all. My boy. <laughs> how about you? Uh, how about you, Snap? You like that Astrodome patch? Not that one. That one is. It looks too kiddyish. It looks like um, the Jetsons or something. Mm. All right. Well, that's big city cap zone. Let's move along here, fellas. But I do like this brown and green hat in the in the, in the program hat as well. That astrodome patch looks like an elimination chamber. <laughs> Riding oh. down the pole. Oh, man. Time. We're gonna start with this one. So listen, we're gonna get this. So this topic really um revolved around um we were talking about 
basically hats that memorialize um, deceased family members, so on and so forth. So, you know, uh, do we have the results though? So the results were 54% these hats, 46% do not. So listen, I'll, I just want to kind of point this out. So this caused a huge uproar, a huge uproar. I post this thing and suddenly everything's getting shared out and everyone's, everyone's like screaming and getting all upset and whatever. It was, all, it was the topic of every live. So listen, at the end of the day, like – it got people talking. I, I, I'm, I frankly don't give a shit if people agree with me or not. At, at this point in my life, I'm, I'm almost, I'm 46 years old. You don't agree with me, you don't agree with me. Now, the clip uh, can't really focused on what Snap said, but I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I agree. I, didn't, I don't like them. And I'm going to share the perspective why. And and I don't I don't care if people retweet like they, they take clip this and they go say oh this guy's such an ass I don't give a shit it's my opinion no one's no one's saying oh my god I you know I I can't stand your deceased family member that's fucking wild what we're saying is we just don't like the idea of it that's it so for me I've had plenty of family members pass and I I wouldn't I wouldn't personally do that that's just me and I'm allowed to have that opinion and everyone else is too but this proved my point to a degree. Or Snap's point. So we're not talking about celebrities here. That's not what that's not what the point was. And I understand that Snap um, and the context wasn't necessarily in that clip. If you go watch the whole show or the the surrounding minutes of that clip, you'll understand. But I think what the what the um, what the interesting thing was was people's reaction basically proved what I was trying to say. So you know, I think what ends up happening is. These things are polarizing and whatnot, and it puts people in an awkward position from time to time. So there were people that were commenting, right? And I think we're going to show one of these comments, I believe, um, which is um, if we could pull up the comment. Let's pull that comment up. I want to show that off. No, not, not this one. We can go back to this one. There's another one, right? No, Leon didn't pick the comment I'm talking about, which is <laughs> the one I asked to be shown. So the comment really revolved around – um, being hit up in comment in in DMs around, please support my hat and this family member. And I think when you think about that, right, that's where we're trying to get at. There's two kind of caveats to this. Number one is some people are going to feel awkward or pressured to do it. And I don't think you should ever be talking about those sorts of things in order to get someone to to purchase or support a hat. Just let the hat speak for itself and have that internal meaning for yourself. Um, because Honestly, like a lot of us, most of us won't even know this family member who it's hooked to. That's the first thing, right? But then putting people in this awkward position, whether the creator intends to do that or not, it's awkward. It's, it's awkward and it, and it feels weird. And it, it's just not, it's just, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. The second thing is when you want to be objective and you want to, you want to kind of talk about, you know, something you like or not like, it's another opportunity for people to be like, oh, my God, I like something that I really don't because they don't want to hurt somebody's feelings because of what it's hooked to. It's just like certain things should be off limits to this stuff, right? And I think like that's one of the things to me that should be off limits. And I spoke to the other one being um, these components where we're, we're finding causes and we're hooking these things to causes but not giving money to that cause all of these things are not what we're here to be doing, in my opinion. It's just create great hats. And I understand the internal meaning. And I also understand people can think differently than me, which is fine. People can think di differently than Snap. But what this proves is how polarizing it is and how people attacked the second someone didn't like it. You, you follow what I'm saying? It yeah. almost proves out the point. Like, it's too emotional. It's too much for this. And then people are like getting like on their feelings and then it got even uglier. It just proved what I was trying to say in the first place, which is these things are a little bit too deep for hats. Yeah. <laughs> that's my opinion. Now, celebrities and stuff like that's a little bit different. These are people that everybody knows. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, it's, it's notoriety. Everyone knows this person, that person. Everyone knows Selena. Everybody, everybody knows those people. It's just different. But I will tell you, man, what this really showed off was just how emotional people get and how soft people are. Like, so what, man? They don't they don't like the fact that you hooked it to that. It has nothing to do with your family member. 
That's not what it is. It's about the topic of should you or should you not do it? Is it awkward? Is it weird? Does it feel right? Everyone has a right to say that. Just like everyone has a right to say stickers on or stickers off, white sweatband, black sweatband. Everyone has those rights, green under, gray under. And when you're talking about a community or something like this, that happens, man. You're going to have people that think one way or think another. But to act like a bunch of fucking children and start sending all over the place and start like castrating people over their opinions, that's exactly what we're not supposed to be doing. Everyone has a right to their opinion, no matter what the opinion is. And we all need to grow a pair and move on when someone shares an opinion that's not like their own. That's it. But I will say a lot of people thought when they were messaging me that this was going to be a landslide where people support this. It wasn't. It's like it's it's for all intents and purposes, it's 50 50. So for all that we're trying to tell me in the comments would be 90, 10, 80, 20 uh, wrong. Like, you know, like it, it's even a lot of people don't want to voice their opinions on it because they know how polarizing the topic is, which proves again People don't want to speak up because the mob is going to come take them down if they don't agree with them. Yeah. That's what this is, right? I mean, do you guys, am I, am I, am I off base here? I'm trying to understand like what you guys think, because uh, for me, this proved out exactly what the point was, which is yeah. it's polarizing. And if you have an opinion that differs from them, they're going to go nuts on you and make you feel like a, try to make you feel like a fucking idiot, try to cancel you, which I think is fucking bullshit. That whole cancel culture thing is bullshit. It's stupid. And it's just another, it's just another, another moment like that. But I'd love my to reason. Okay. Go ahead. Stan. Um, my reason for saying that it was my pet peeve about making the RP hats is because people already get butt hurt when you don't like their hats which I think is ridiculous because it's a piece of clothing. People say my hats are dirt all day. I don't care. It's a fucking hat. It's opinion based. You feel me? It, 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 it so so if you if if I say this hat is trash and then someone in the comments 2 minutes later says, "Hey, you know that was hooked to such and such as grandmother." Then I'm like, "Oh, snap." We're about to right. start another world war where I'm going to get attacked by that ma that family's member, entire family. Listen, I, I went through this. You guys remember, I there was a hat that was made by a store. I said I didn't like it. I didn't know the hook. Then someone said to me, oh, I'm different. I'm built different, though. Someone said, hey, listen, you know, that's hooked to this or that. I, I don't I don't care. I still don't like the hat. Yeah, so yeah, and it's like, like that doesn't like, mean I don't care about that person. It doesn't mean I don't care about the person that's hooked to. Hell, I don't know the person that's hooked to. I just don't care, bro. We all we all say every single one of us, everybody watching, all of us have said those shoes are hideous. Oh, that shirt is awful. Those jeans is ugly. But we talk about a hat, and it's like, oh my god, it's the end of the world if you diss somebody's hat. And I don't think it should be that way. It's all right. Clothes. It's nothing. And, you're not attacking somebody's personal character or anything like that. And Snap, but I want to give. I'm. I'm going I'm to put Leon on the spot too because Leon likes to run, run, run under the radar on some of these things, um, and and that's not okay. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put him on the spot in a second, and you can look side to side all you want. You're gonna actually speak to this because every time I do one of these clips, you're no nowhere to be found. Um, so I do want to hear from you, and I want you to be honest about how you feel. Um, but I do want to say this. Um, the the other component of this is like I think it's like so personal to people sometimes, not even about who it's hooked to, but more because it's something they created and they don't understand sometimes that 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 criticism is going to come with it. And there's no like free pass on criticism. It just doesn't happen. I get criticized about this show every day. I get criticized about the hats I make every day. It's part of it comes with the territory. But Leon, I'd love for you to share honestly how you feel about this topic. <laughs> I think it's very, it's a very complicated uh, thing. I, I it, it's it's tough when you try to judge people's intentions and stuff like that. So like when you see the RIP hats to people who you don't know, I I just don't know if it should be made public. That's all. Like if if you want to do something for someone, that's that's awesome. That's great. But I, I just don't know if it should be used as a selling point. Um, I'll. Now, having said that, luckily we haven't really dealt with that much death within our circle. I mean, like, I mean, like directly. So, like, I can't say that I would never, you know, God forbid anything happen to any of you guys or something happened to me or whatever. 
if you guys did a hat in my honor in the future, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. But when it's like so far removed from the general thing where it's like someone's grandmother or mm -hmm. whatever, it's 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 difficult, man. But I also know a lot of people that did it um, and it kind of changed their life in, in terms of like someone like having someone really close to you pass away and then dedicating part of your life to, to changing. So I, it, it's hard to say never or it's hard to say yes or no to, to one or another. Like I can see it. But then there's also times where it looks so forced. Yeah. And, and they use it as a selling point. And then that feels wrong. I don't know if I'm making any sense. No, it makes sense. So listen, listen to the comment that we on. This is the one that I pinned that I wanted you to show. But I think okay. I, I told you a week ago, right? I don't think it's I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But when you're trying to use death of your relative as a bargaining tool to try to get people to buy it when they otherwise wouldn't wouldn't have by DMing people you've never talked to and being like, please support my design. It's inspired after my dead so and so. I think, listen, this is the thing. People aren't, I, this is what happens in, in some of these communities where people just quiet down. They don't want to share their opinions because they're kind of scared because they're afraid to say something that's going to rub someone the wrong way because everyone's gotten so sensitive. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but that comment kind of encapsulates that Jason, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to put um, Ariane on the spot for this one, but I am going to put, I'm, I am going to ask you to share your thoughts. Yeah. Um, you know, if you want to make a hat ded dedicated to a dead family member or, or somebody that you love, that's awesome. You know, I go for it. If that is what inspires you to create the hat, do it. But just don't use that as an excuse to guilt me into buying the hat or even liking the hat. And if I don't like the hat, it's not anything against your grandma or your grandpa or anything right. like that. It's just my opinion. I don't like the hat and don't come after me or send your goon friends after me because I don't like the hat you dedicated to your dead cat. Like it, but if, if, if that makes you feel good to make the hat for that, awesome, go for it. Yeah. Just don't guilt me into liking it because of some sob story of something I don't even know anything about. Right. I look I at the hat. I look at the hat as the hat. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. But it's nothing against you or your family member or your inspiration or anything like that. It's just yeah, my opinion a, about the hat itself. It. That's a great way of putting it. That's a great way of putting it. And I saw one thing uh, prevalent throughout the comments on that post, too, was like, keep it friends and family or make it friends and family. I think that makes a lot of sense. You know, I think that does make a lot of sense. Um, I don't know. I, I just I, I thought it was. And I, I, I got, again, I got to be honest with you. I don't, I don't really care if people start messing me. Pure, you're a dick. You're an, like I've never fucking heard that before. I don't, I don't give a shit. You can, you can write what you want to me. I don't, I don't care. I've gotten to the point now where I just don't give a shit. Like I, I literally don't. Like if you don't like it, okay, good for you. Move along. But, um, There's a lot of comments in here about like uh, exploiting a tragedy. Some, you know, some people. I, you know, when I think of my grandpa, he's been dead for 40 years. I, I don't think of that as a tragedy. I mean, he's the one that taught me to love baseball and I, I only yeah. think good things about it. So I, I, I don't know. It's not always a tragedy. It's, it's, you know, maybe it's something you loved and, 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 and that's cool, but just don't yeah. kill other people. You don't know into liking your hat because of some sob story. Well, I'm also not going to say that I that I don't believe that everybody does that. Right. I don't even know if anybody does that to explain no. anything. That's not what I'm saying. I don't. Right. I don't think it's intentional. I don't think it. It's just an implied. It's just something that's implied that kind of happens. Just it's just part mm -hmm. of it. It's just part of it. And Mount Zion, I know you're a real positive guy. Let's get some hats in the shopping cart. You're trying to move us along, but this is a topic that we're gonna we're gonna move on from when we're ready to. Um, and I do appreciate your positivity, but this is something that came up, and we always talk about these things. So um, I want to thank you guys uh, for delving into that. And um, let's move along here, guys. We move on to the next store. Oh, we have these comments, though. We, 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 can go, we don't have to go through those now. All right. So uh, Burdines um, had these uh, six hats drop, I think, with Mr. Postman, right? Um, mm -hmm. yep. Let's do a little uh, keep two drop two here, guys. I'll start with you, Jason Mead. Uh man, there's a lot of button violations on the screen, so it's gonna be tough for me. So I, I'm gonna keep the Baltimore. Uh, mm -hmm. I like that black. That was, my favorite, that was my favorite of them. Yep. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and keep the Braves. 
uh, I normally don't like optic white, but um, I'll keep that one. I'm going to drop the Indians. I do not like that side patch at all. And then I'll drop the uh, the Milwaukee Braves. Um, just not a fan of that color combo. Mm. All right, cool. Well, thank you. And it's 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 odd for me to see you uh, drop a Milwaukee Braves. That's one of I your know. I know. old uh, old trusties, um, so to speak. Um, Ariane, what you uh, keep two drop two on this for me? Uh, keep top left. I think that's like the Obama, but I just like that maroon with the black button violation. I I know, but it's it's all right. <laughs> and then and then bottom left that Atlanta Braves. It's, it's all right because I like the red and the white. That's my favorite, like two color combos, red and white. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, if that Chicago had a black button, that would so be winning for me. I mm -hmm. did a poll on the uh, on the um, community tab, right? And the one that won here was uh, definitely the Orioles. Coming in number two was Chicago. Number three, uh, tied for third, was uh, Atlanta and um, the other. That's Chicago, right? Or is that Cincinnati? What does that see? Since the the black one, Cincinnati. Yeah, with Cincinnati. A Mets, uh, oh, yeah. All Star Game patch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, so, I'm not. I'm not going to drop any because that's going to open up a whole nother can of worms. Um, I wow. that Orioles is the is the outstanding hat from this pack to me, and I really like. If if I'm not me not being a baseball fan and not caring about mismatched side patches, the Muhammad Ali is off the chain. Uh, I don't get it why it's Cassius Clay. I guess I don't understand the he's, the. He was he's from, from Louis. He's from Louisville, which oh, is right across the river from Cincinnati. Okay, I get that. What's the, what? Why? Why do they use the Mets side patch for? Sixty four is one of his fight versus Frazier. Frazier, one of the Frazier fights. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I like the hat. Um, I like the hat a lot. How it looks, and um, I really like the Mar the Martin Luther King hat as well a lot. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I I, I know this is gonna go against everything. All of my uh, sensibilities here, but I'm going to put the uh, Cincinnati Reds into my cart. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Go ahead, add, go ahead and add the Baltimore Orioles to my cart. So. Oh, we're going shopping already. That's what <laughs> that's, that's, I, good, that's I, a good. I, listen, like this it. is the first time I've been like, uh, uh, you're going to see a mismatched patch in my I cart. Like it. This one just looks good. Man. Have we done a button violation poll? No, right. No, I'm, I have that in my in my queue. Yeah, you said you want the Cincinnati Reds, right? Yeah, yep. Okay. I would call nice. it the Cassius Clay, just the, or the Muhammad the Cassius, Ali. The Cassius Clay, yeah. Out and, of respect, and, out of respect to Muhammad Ali, I would say I would write Muhammad Ali. And Jason is going to add the Orioles to his card. Mm -hmm. That's All a Harriet right. Tubman. Oh, even better. You going to go shopping, Leon, or are you going to wait? Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. All right. Remember, man, if you guys get to the last slide, we ain't going backwards. <laughs> Ari, Ari, do you want to go? Do you want to shop here or no? No, I'm good. But that Oreos is nice. But I'm good. Thank you. All right. It's like those vlogging trips, Pierre. <laughs> like if you leave the store, you're not going back. <laughs> Every store I went to, I'd be like, uh, uh, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on, and then. So you limited funds. You can't buy everything. I, I went We're the opposite way. I would spend too much. And yeah. Yeah. All right. Butterfly. Guys. Oh my God. This pizza hat. Add it to my shopping cart. Add that right to my now. cart too. Add, Add to that to my Are you cart. guys fucking kidding me? <laughs> Dude, that's nice. Add that to my cart. I love pizza. Dude, when this I logo first came out, car, it yes. was universally trashed. <laughs> no, I don't, no. I don't know why. That. I don't know why, but I, I eat pizza like maybe once once a week. So I just love that. I don't know. And the Mets, just give it. I don't know. I like New York teams, so just give it to me. How many slices of pizza can you eat at one sitting? I'm not, I'm actually like I'm actually a skinny, skinny guy, so I probably like three max. <laughs> oh yeah, I can eat a pie and some more. Uh, but yo, this choice, this side is off the chain, and then that, that side patch represents the pepperoni. Oh man, I love it, man. Pierre, your thoughts on that? I, I don't yes. believe it. I don't believe it. People fucking ripped this logo when it first came out. Just really, absolutely ripped it. Like this, I was this is one of the first that. ones where people were like, oh, "Okay, the food hooks have gone too far." 
They got a bagel one too, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Don't they have a bagel rat? Wasn't no, there they a, had a pizza, pizza, no, pizza, pizza rat? Pizza rat. Pizza rat. Pizza rat. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Pizza rat. Does Brooklyn pizza look like this? Like what? Wow. Like it has the Brooklyn Bridge going through it? Yeah, that's it's it, that's Brooklyn. I'm assuming Brooklyn's bridge, but does like a typical Brooklyn pizza look like that? No, I think this is just New York pizza. Although this is a stuffed crust pizza, it looks like to me. That's not. Uh, I don't know. I, I think they may have colored it that way. I don't know. I think that's just a lighter, like the crust would be uh, lighter yeah. when it's cut like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, New York, New York slices look like that. You know. Okay. I just, you know, it's been a long outside. I like of it better than the T Mark hat. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the T Mark. That T that, that Mark hat looks like uh Pierre's Pierre's hat. hats excite me, right? This hat really excited me too, man. And um yeah. Thank you, Raven. The bridge and the pizza in New York and New York is I know a lot of people say Chicago has the best. No, no. Chicago no, 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 no. Chicago it's, pizza it's, it's is actually fucking New dog Jersey. Shit. No, New Connecticut Jersey. Connecticut has the best pizza. Chicago yeah. pizza is a fucking casserole. Don't even call no. it pizza. Yeah. Can, can, Chicago can, people don't even like Chicago pizza. Like no. The, no, the no, people Chicago, no, no, like Chicago people will fight over their pizza. They do Connecticut, not like Conne- pizza. Listen, Connecticut has the best pizza on the planet. I'm Ask most you. people from Chicago. They don't even like waiting for the deep. I just, I just, I just want you guys to know that all over the world, like everywhere, there's a New York style pizza place. You don't see Connecticut style pizza shops or or what or whatever other cities you get. New York. Dude, I don't style. give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what other what other what other states emulate the best pizza. If I take you to New Haven, Connecticut, and you go to Modern and you go to Frank Pepe's and you go to Sally's. You're never you're you're done. You're never gonna you're never gonna speak like this again. They're probably from New York. No, they're not. Okay, <laughs> they're from like the fucking 1920s, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I am telling you. I am telling you. I'm surprised no one ever says Italy has the best pizza. <laughs> Italy does have good pizza. Yeah, yeah it's gotta it's be snap, it's snap. It's just because me. something is all over the place doesn't make it good. There's a fucking subway on every fucking corner, and that's not the best sandwich shop in the world. No, Arian, but I mean, what, hold on one second, guys. Hold on, Ariane, what do you want to say? I said this about be your next controversial topic. Like, what state has the best pizza? It might be, but I think like I want to, I want to get the crew together at some point and go for a, like a pizza run through Connecticut. I do. And Chosen Fitted. If it's, if it's don't pizza, you I'm dare, Chosen Fitted. Chosen Fitted. Don't you dare tell me that Louisiana has the best pizza. He's not going <laughs> to say that, man. Come on. He knows that. Come on. See, look at this. It's we're 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 getting floods of of Connecticut votes here. Pierre Florida. might be right. Yeah, everyone's vouching for Connecticut. It's Connecticut, man. I'm telling you, it's Connecticut. I can't wait to take. I'm. A, I love pizza. I can't wait. And then to snap. Take- I'm also gonna take in my hometown, right where I grew up. Leon will tell you this. They make a Greek pizza there that I. So growing up as a kid, every Sunday we didn't have a ton of money, but my dad, my parents did certain things for us. Every Sunday was pizza night, and every Sunday we got a pizza from West Main Pizzas, um, West Main Pizza, a Greek pizza. They've been making it the same way for the last 35, 40 years. And um and Leon will tell you he actually liked West Main Pizza from my hometown mm-hmm. more than he liked uh, Frank Pepe's. The the Frank Pepe's in Danbury though. Yeah, yeah. You didn't go yeah. to the Frank Pepe's in New Haven, which is different. I, we did that. We did that. No. Oh no no. I mean this trip though. Yeah. Yeah. Trip. yeah. yeah. How's the pizza in Canada? Oh, it's trash. Oh, oh God. Nah, they probably on. use fucking. No, it is. It's fucking bad, man. Come on. They don't, they, they don't order pizza. They order meatball subs there. <laughs> <laughs> they, put maple, they put maple syrup and fucking Tim nuts on it. Hawa- Hawaiian pizza was invented in Canada, though. So you can blame the, the, the pineapple. Yeah, meatball. and no wonder. The worst, worst fucking flavor of pizza Awful. ever. Nah, there's there's three pineapple things, there's, on a there's pizza. There's three things Canada's known for, right? Poutine. They're far ultra left views and snow those three things are what canada is known for all right you ready to move yeah, on good pizza though it's just really expensive and eric of course i got pizza from fongs you can't live in iowa without getting pizza from fongs hey hey guys now uh before we leave the butterfly slide 
would you agree that this is the first time the 1981 patch beats the 99? Yes. Boy, this is colored here. Absolutely. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, they messed the the the, one, the 99 looks messed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 81 looks beautiful. I never seen the 81 look like this. So, so what hey, hat is that for? Is it a double up? It's yeah, a, it's, it's both no, hats. It's, not, it's two hats. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Same color, but different patches. And mm -hmm. and Leon, I think you'd like Fong's Pizza. They put uh, Chinese style dish uh, uh, here we flavors go. on pizza because he's Chinese. That's why. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's Chinese. He's Chinese. <laughs> the, their Mongolian beef pizza is fantastic. You gotta try it next time. Yeah. I know I'm in. Uh, Des Moines, I'm going. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'll ever be there, will you? No, no, probably not. <laughs> All right. Probably not. I'll take a picture. Maybe of Field of Dreams. We'll, we'll, we'll go watch the Field of Dreams game. Mm. There you go. All right. Well, let's. Uh, so who had it? So now we have uh, we have Snap and and Arian have uh, this hat, this pizza hat in their shopping cart. Correct. J uh, Chase is uh, fighting me, saying that Germ uh, Hawaiian pizza was first created in Germany. Okay. You want to fact check that, Leon? Uh, as we continue on. It up. I, I got All it. Right. Oh, uh, uh, Jason's going to look it up for you. Right. Let's uh, let's move along here. As Michael Bickle from Fresh Rag says, he's strictly Sam's Club pizza. All right, listen, Not guys. Sam's Club. I know we said we wasn't going to do one. Uh, Pierre, I know you said we was going to do one video per slide, but when I went to Capsule, they had a lot of videos and they did a lot of community alerts. And I All said, right. damn, this is the best. This is the best week capsule has had in a long time. And I really yeah. want to showcase that. Yeah. Can I be clear? I yeah. I don't mind the way it's laid out here. What I don't like is when you were putting some of our uh, viewers into uh, into seizure <laughs> mode because you had 27 of them going at the same time, all in different time frames. Right. But I just want to let you know that capsule did such a great job this week that okay. I needed to show you guys the hats in a video format because it's community alerts and i i i mean damn capsule capsule got it this week man and i let's start it off here we every go every couple of seconds uh leon pops up another comment just to fuck with you so this one was uh snap loves uh chuck e cheese pizza <laughs> uh and and yeah just just on the fact check uh, uh hawaiian pizza was first created in satellite restaurant in ontario canada Shout By out to Sam London. Panopoulos. Shout out to London. Right. London, Ontario. Guys, guys what do you think about this Catholic Indians Catholic and Yankees Ontario. hat right here? I love what? that. I love the Yankees on the right, but that side patch, like I wish they didn't put the red in there, but it's still nice. Like I love that color though. That green with the brown, it looks nice. My oh. cart is saved on this slide. Mount Zion is uh, calling it. He's saying that Snap has a uh, has a doorknob turn in the works. No. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Nobody I makes don't. this quick of a turn on a store. Especially I mean, with, the, with the shit like that pink Seattle. They're, they're doing the same exact videos I am in the warehouse under LED lights. You noticing this? <laughs> mm -hmm. You invented a new style of uh, showing off hands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, this one is a good. This one right here, this next slide, is Fly Guy Ange. Did these hats? That. Let's look at the now. These are badass, man. Yeah. Look at this Yankees they right haven't here. Dropped yet. This one right here. Ooh. Demerit. Ooh. <laughs> Astros. Astros, 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 Astros. Go ahead, Jason. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was uh, purple Astros is pretty good. And as we're doing this, guys, we have 98 likes. Let's get that like count up to around 150. We have 220 people in here. Let's hit that like button, everybody. And has there been an update on the Tesla? There has not been. They've been quiet. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe the winner, maybe the winner didn't want anybody to know. Like, don't let anybody know that I won, guys. Leon, was there was there a, a, a date on this? I believe it was like the contest ended sometime in like mid January, and the contest winner would be contacted no later than January 31st. Is what I believe I remember reading. Capsule, we have a problem here. <laughs> Capsule, someone in the community, problem. someone in the community would definitely come out if they won, right? Definitely. Yeah, Twenty bands, yeah. They'd be fucking flexing that shit all over the place. It's not yeah. like it's not life changing money, but it's like good money. So they'll be flexing. It's not like they're like in a mansion as a millionaire won the lottery. Nah, 
it's not it's not life changing, but like, listen, man, it's like still twenty grand, right? Was it twenty grand in store credit? Because then you would probably flex on that. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the Super Mario level up hat, and I really I like this. Super Mario. I don't like this one. I don't like the side patch. For the I like, Super, if I like Super Mario. Side patch. If you're a Super Mario geek and you and you put them pins on those on that side patch, oh man, beautiful. Nah, man, this is this the the the, the uh, hat club one where it looks looks a hundred times better than this. I don't like that side patch. It's like no, so you're no. wearing this out, right? And someone's gonna go to you. Wow, wow. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's a good hook. It looks like a Mario Brothers side patch. I just don't like it on my hat. Okay. All right. Well, that's not the only thing Capsule has done this week. Uh, they went th these joints right here. I don't. I didn't mind these at all. And I'll, since since we're gonna look at them, I want you to see how they look in the video because the video made me say, "Hmm, you know of what?" Course mm -hmm. Of course it did. Snap. Oh, is, that a, is that a pinwheel? Holy shit. Uh oh, now, now Jason's on board. No, I didn't think these hats could get worse until I saw the back. I thought they were just white panel. What's on the back? Panels. No, it's they're white panel backs. Uh, yeah, I thought they're front panels, not, not pin. No, I actually like their pin. God, what? Did, 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 Dave, did Dave send you the twenty k? Is that <laughs> no. is that what's going on here, guys? We no. we found out. Yeah, we found out who the we, winner is. Yes, found out who won. Yeah. No. They let him take his choice. Just leave us the fuck alone on the show, please. I just no, man. You know, as much as much hate as I give them, when it's time to give them love, I'm gonna give them love. And I think they did a great job. The guys who they collab with did a great job. Um, so man, as much as much shit I talk about capsule, come on, you know me. Um, if I have to give them the flowers, I'm giving them flowers, okay? Mm. So when's your collab dropping with them? No, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, fit is too icy. We got a lot of snapbacks on Topper Store USA that'll help you out with that hair growing problem. Um, go check us out. But good to have you here. We love when you're here. All right, you guys, ready to move along here? Mm -hmm. Cap USA Harlem. Cap USA Harlem. All right, jumping on the velvet train. Got a bunch of different things going on here. Um. All right, so what stands out to you here, um, Ariane? Um, I like that black and red Yankees, uh, bottom Which, right. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, like that one. Um, I, I don't know if I like any of those football hats, to be honest. And then the velvet, I, I haven't got any velvet, all over velvet hats. I just have the velvet brim. But if I was going to get one, it wouldn't be one of those. So I guess the only, like, what I like is like the Yankees, but that Blue Jays is okay too. Wow, you're hitting you're hitting like a sledgehammer today, bud. I like it. I like you. Like basically, what you said is I don't like none of this shit except for that red one, <laughs> except for that black and red Yankees. It's pretty good. Leon, well, how about you? Anything stand out um, to you here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that Blue Jays in my cart. I don't wow. have that logo. I don't believe. Snap. I think Snap went to how give somebody a break. I think Snap went to give someone a break. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you all know, there's no feverishly at work on your hats right now. Um, Snap is uh, going to supervise uh, elsewhere. But we got to make sure Snap knows that's going into your um, – How yeah, do you not part? have that logo as a Blue Jays fan? That one? That's a very yeah. rare logo. With hmm. the Blue Jays uh, word mark underneath? It doesn't come often. All right. I don't have that one. I, I do like the logo. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I like the logo with the side patch. The side patch is almost bigger than the front logo. Right. Yeah. There's no native logo to that either, I don't think. I think if they went plain Jane on that, it would have been really nice. Mm. If Snap is there, it is definitely a sweat shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he sweats John. Where just the fuck did he go? Up. Where did he go? I don't know. If we can't hit the next He gave all these people names too, like Maria. I don't know. <laughs> Like, where is he? We can't even change the slide. No, we're stuck here. We are. Can't even stuck. change the slide is hilarious. <laughs> Snap. 
Who but who we got in the who we got in the Super Bowl for for real? Oh, I got Stan for you, man. I I, I'm going 49ers for the Iowa connections. I'm going KC Team Swifty. I'm going KC too. Nick Taylor's boyfriend's gonna win. <laughs> All right, Jesus. snap. I add the to my cart, please. Which Toronto Blue Jays? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, snap! Okay. Where the hell were you, man? He's pinching a loaf. Family, family. <laughs> <laughs> family, family. That's nasty, man. I haven't heard that in years, man. <laughs> Someone's Vic says he was out disciplining one of the workers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You and, and dude and discipline in Bangladesh, man. You get different kind of discipline. Yeah, man. yeah. All right, you guys ready to move along? That's a nuts. <laughs> All right, we go to Capanova now. These are good. These are good. I don't mind these. Mm -hmm. They're not going in the cart. No. Considering we're only at letter C, I got to be careful here. <laughs> you got to pace yourself. <laughs> I, I like that 45s. I like that India. These are good. Yeah. Man. I'm feeling these, except for the Ebbett stuff. Yeah. That Brooklyn can go away. Yeah. The other, the other three are good, though. Leon, you liking these? Yeah, the 45s. I have wearing them. 45s, Indians, LA, Brooklyn. They're smooth. It's like gunmetal black almost. Or yeah. Like blacked out. It's cool. That's black. That's like, that's metallic pewter for sure. Yeah. Right? I'm They're black. pretty badass. Yeah, I like them. Snap, if you fall with that green screen, right, can we still see you? No, we won't be able to see it. We won't even know if you fell, right? When yeah. you fall into the green oh, screen. Oh, if I fall, I'll fall into, the, into, into it, yeah. Yeah, so, like, what happens if you fall into your employees? Can you show us, maybe? Like, just, like, no, without, no, like, I don't want to mess without up hurting yourself. Like, just back up. Like, what what happens? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to mess up my setup. Oh, you got a little screen there? Yeah, I got a little green screen going on. Oh, nice. All right. It looks mm -hmm. like Maria's getting blacked out yeah. over there. Look at <laughs> Maria's getting all fucked up. Or something. Is that her <laughs> name, Maria, again? Well, Maria, Maria, Heather, Maria, and Trang. Shout <laughs> <laughs> out to Trang. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Trang all right, let's move on, work. guys. Let's move on. No one's put these in their carts. So let's move along here. Oh, shit. It's clink room time. No. Um, I want to put that, um, that red... Uh, X-ray dog in my cart. I want I want to put that red X-ray dog in my cart too. Reminds me of that Chihuahua's hat, kind of. I like it. I like, I like it. it. Okay, hey, now be careful, Pierre. That was dedicated to somebody's dead dog. So, <laughs> fuck man, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get killed here. Yeah, and I'm gonna um I I'm gonna put the um kid playing in the snow with a spoon and stuff in the snaps cart. <laughs> no. <All right>. I <laughs> What the fuck is that? I think we should have. I think we should have the opportunity next week. Snap, since this is Shot working out people. pretty well, we're gonna have. We each get a chance to put one thing in somebody else's cart. Oh, okay, that'd be cool. All right, <laughs> so, uh, so this yeah, red right. dog is going to Pierre. Pierre just went shopping, and so did. All right. Um, <laughs> no, uh, you're so close, man. Uh, you're so close, Ryan. <laughs> Jesus Sorry. This fucking Sorry. guy, you're either a white supremacist or you're Sorry. a, or you're Sorry. a Sorry. constellation. Sorry. A constellation. You're a fucking belt. All right. I I think Snap, what did he say last time? Uh he made us sound Irish. Aryan. Oh, Ryan. Oh, oh Ryan. Oh Ryan. Like oh Ryan, like O'Brien. Like that's how yeah. he yeah. All right, Leon, you ready to take us through these? Yeah, let's talk about it. So uh, March 10th, you will have the six images on the left. Um, be up for pre-order until with the estimated delivery of August 2024. Uh, we will start off with Melon Mashers. Uh, Sierra Gons um, has that uh, watermelon slice about to hit the speed, uh, seed. Um, I hate seeds in watermelon. Um, yeah, but next throwing, a, throwing a seed is like... Throwing like a like a like a, just like a like a fast like ball. a fast yeah yeah you know, they make seedless watermelons now yeah 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 I know I, I I hate to be a stickler here right but throwing a seed they never say that from the pitching mound though they say that no, from the outfield. outfield outfield yeah so I guess if the pitcher's in the outfield this one makes a lot of sense and isn't that watermelon kind of hitting his own part of his own body <laughs> that's, that's kind of weird it's like it's almost yeah. like a snap punching himself in the balls. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a No Really from um, R.E. Clifton. So he's got like a Fuji uh, colored hat um, with the um, second world's worst worst tasting candy. Those like uh, those little oh, the messages with the, the B. You like oh, them? What's the what's the worst tasting candy? Uh, the candy corn. Oh yeah, for sure. You That's the worst back. tasting candy. Candy corn, uh, licorice. Nah, licorice. fucking licorice is worse. Oh, black licorice nah. is pretty bad. Nah, no, but you gotta get the licorice right from like where, what country is that native to? I forgot what fucking is. this guy that used to work for me. Give me a bag of it. It's from some Scandinavian country. It's anise, right? That's what it's from. Anise, what? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're it's the anise or... No, <laughs> it's a fennel. Well, fennel, and you can mm -hmm. also call it anise. I don't, I don't know, man, but this was the saltiest, nastiest shit I've ever tasted in my life. It was so gross. Where is it native to? That's a good question. Italians just, use it. And Joe, lot. just so you know, there already was a um a, a clink room VFTV collab, but not one of Snap falling off his chair. <laughs> Southern Europe. Uh, I don't yeah. think candy corn is the worst. Candy corn is just wax. It's just Period. pretty bad though. Candy corn. Mm -hmm. Candy corn is my Norway. Favorite. That's right. Norway. Norway Raven. That's right. Norway. This dude that works for me, his name was Rasmus. He brought in this bag of that. This like I'm talking, it made black licorice taste like just pure heaven. It was disgusting. <laughs> this stuff was salty. It tasted like what I imagine puke would taste like. It was fucking gross, man. Have you ever thrown up a little bit and it comes up and you get it back down? Yeah, that's yeah. What that licorice tastes like Ooh. every time snaps on the show. It happens. <laughs> Did he give it to you as a prank or just a nice gesture? I think he thought it was a nice gesture, and you know when you. When you put it in, you, you, I had to do it, and I had to pretend like I liked it. And I am someone who, anyone that knows me knows I'm real picky with my food. My 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 taste buds are super sensitive. As soon as I put that thing in my mouth, I was like, "This is this is fucking terrible. <laughs> this is fucking terrible." You told him though. You told it kept it a buck. Like yeah. you told him I wasn't it. Pierre ain't gonna lie. That's okay. not it. No, no. I told my, I told my, I said I'd rather not ever have that again. <laughs> if you him. bring it to me again, you're fired. <laughs> no, I just was like Rasmus, man. This ain't my kind of food, man. Yeah. And he, and everyone else in the room, right, was like, Ugh. they were all disgusted by it. Everyone who tried it was absolutely disgusted. This guy's popping it in there, and he's just loving it, man. Ugh. All right, yeah. let's get back to this. All right, oh, um, Whoppers, get the fuck. I love yeah, Whoppers. No, I love Whoppers. I will agree with them on Tootsie Rolls. Though. Tootsie Rolls are good. No, nah, highly, Tootsie Rolls are highly right. overrated. Is another poll. We got to come Tootsie up with a poll. Tootsie on Rolls it. are highly overrated. You don't like Tootsie Rolls? Whoppers are delicious. Whoppers are good. Tootsie Rolls are, are just a step up from candy corn. Snap, do you, Snap, you look like you enjoy some candy. Do you like Whoppers or Tootsie Rolls? Uh, I'll, I'll prefer Tootsie Rolls. Uh, Whoppers, no. Yeah, he only likes Tootsie Rolls because it was in a rap song. <laughs> no. <laughs> milk Duds are good too, man. They're, but they're very chewy, but they're good. I like Milk Duds. It, isn't Tootsie Rolls close to the, the stuff in the center of the Tootsie Pop? It is the same yeah. center it's of the Tootsie Pop. It's the exact same thing. Yeah, they taste good. That's why they're called Tootsie, that's why they're called Tootsie Roll Pops. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Um, all right, move forward. <laughs> Slash Canadians, flick. you know what I mean, Jason? Fucking Canadians, they, they don't know they, fucking candy. They, just, they want to be American so bad, and then when there's a piece of American culture that they're they're yeah. able to embrace, they can't fucking get that right either. No, um, and dude, they lit. I've, I've we've had Canadian candy, it is literally dirt. It's, no, it's it, not, it's delicious. We, we we call it dirt here, they no, call no, it candy, no, no. they call it chocolate. Our what is are Leon? delicious. Leon brought snow caps are nasty, but Leon brought something over. What was the candy bar? Not the cookie, not Kit the Kat. coffee, the Kit Kat. The Kit Canadian Kat. Kit yeah. Kat was pretty darn good, man. Our Kit Kats are better. I'm not gonna lie. Stand on that. Stand on that business. You're fucking yeah, you're smarties. Like rolls, though. Your smarties are enough to go to war for though. Smarties Those are delicious. Fucking... Smarties beat M and M. Um, yeah, anyway, you are fucking delirious. Slasher flick by Good Idea Ryan and the Obi Wan. Uh, it's got that uh, slasher. Uh, like that film canister ready to slice. All right, get to the kid playing with a fucking spoon, man. I want to know more about him. What the <laughs> fuck is he all about? Uh, that's Snow Day. So um, you guys had him, right? Snow Days. So 
Yeah, we had snow days. Why is he got a spoon in his? I was never outside fucking ro- <laughs> like frolicking in the snow with a spoon and a baby bottle. Yeah, he's uh he's got a couple Easter eggs in there. So there's uh it's two superstitions: kids sleeping with a spoon under a pillow or putting white crayons underneath the windowsill will hope to bring a snow day to the next day. So I guess what? Of those. How old is this artist? Like ninety <laughs> two? Like That's those are fucking traditions. And Jay is he either Canadian or ninety six. Yeah. What the fuck? That's that's Jay Matz, who've uh, who's um, famously collaborated with Pierre, um, and uh, Lane is probably the concept artist on it. Okay. Well, I'm not blaming Jay Matz for it. Lane, what no, the he fuck, just drew man? the picture. Yeah. Well, Lane is from California. I don't know what he knows about snow days. So, well, yeah, he's never even seen Matt, snow. And, and all due respect to Jay Matz, right? He was asked to draw something. He's probably like, all right, man, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's like fucking drawing that shit up. Yeah. So the kid's got a white crayon and and, and the spoon because he's happy he got a snow day in America. By the way, oh, there's a man. clear American flag there. Fucking crazy. Um, we also got uh, K. Ru by um, Clinker uh, Phil Hauser and Sawed Off Samurai Stephen Johnson. They got like this tattooed frog with the samurai sword and a side patch and a cardinal direction. Uh, it's Clinker Wing Studio out of Washington. Um, it's has been this, like, an hour and a half or still on C. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it moves fast after C. Yeah. A lot of caps. And then no they did the, uh, the shock drop. So scanners are on the left, on the right. Um, Jason V out of Boca Raton, Florida, uh, bringing back the Frenchies. Uh, the. You got interestingly enough, you guys picked the skull one. That's the one that actually has sizes left. The one on, above it um, only has uh, two sizes left. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I chose if, the I chose one on the bottom. If people want it as well, that hat is available. So you're trying to sway vote. You're trying to sway votes. That's what. No, no, no. To. I'm saying if people want that hat. No, I know how you are, dude. I know how you fucking are. I know exactly how you are. You sway votes, man. You're like, oh, look, the one that Pierre and, uh, and uh, Ariane <laughs> picked. Still got some like, fucking sizes if left. they like it like you, they have... What have you added to the about. cart so far besides that shitty Toronto hat? That's have you the added thing anything? I put in the cart. You love Clink so much. Add one of these. All right, I'll buy Kairu then. Which one is that? The the frog with the tattoos. Of course it is, because it was... I, I know why you picked that one. <laughs> why? That's your fucking binky. Binky creator. That's... <laughs> That's exactly why. Bill Hauser is my binky creator. Oh, oh, oh. Which one? Where's 40 Swords? Did he do any of these? Here, 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 here. Oh, that's why. That's why you picked that one. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll take I mean, Jason not adding any of these to his cart. Well, so, it's long. <laughs> so in, in the style of... I want to uh, see the hats in my cart at the end of the show, not two years Yeah, so that. in in, uh, in <laughs> fashion, I'm not going to get my delivery right away. Snap, what are you leaning over and doing? Oh, you're adding so you're adding it to yeah, the... Yeah, adding the cart. froggy, yeah. I wasn't sure if someone was getting out of line over in Bangladesh over there. Oh, no, no, they're okay. 40 lashes. Yeah, what do you do if someone uh, misembroiders something over there, uh, Snap? Well, they get they get sent home. Oh, they never know, it's to not easy going like us with the demerits, huh? Yeah, no, yeah. They just tell them, uh, they just tell them, go on. I'm not getting y'all not getting me. Y'all not, you guys are not gonna get me in trouble this week. I promise you. The AI, the AI is not gonna find nothing on me this week. I'm telling <laughs> yeah, you, oh, they find wild, everything. All the time. The AI is not gonna find me this week. It Listen, this software I use to find clips finds everything. It finds everything. It's like Snap did this, Snap did that, Snap did this. <laughs> all right, let's move along. It knows we'll go viral. All right. We're gonna to go to Cool J's Miami. Nope. These are quite possibly some of the worst done football hats I've ever seen. Yeah, I, um, I, I just don't understand why Baby Blue for a Baltimore Ravens hat. They missed the mark there. Uh, I, the I, I, I've always loved Cool J's too, man. But these are not these aren't good hats, man. The Miami Dolphins hat should have had orange somewhere in his hat. Other than on the side patch, I don't think any of these teams have any of their uh, native team colors on them except for the Ravens front logo. The the Raiders, tiny bit of silver, I guess. Tiny yeah. bit of orange. yeah, no, you're right. Not the right orange, but <sighs> they're not no, good. I'm good. Antonio Banderas might be slightly possible, but once Antonio you figure out the Bucks, what are you talking about? The Bucks hat. 
But once you figure out the Bucks hat, it's like so far from it. What? Why'd you call it Antonio Banderas? It looks like he's like Zorro or something. That's fucking really like that's a really odd sort of that that was that was borderline borderline racist, Leon. <laughs> that's not racist. That's not racist. I hope I hope the I hope the software I use pulls this one out. Yeah. <laughs> Leon's not allowed in Mexico anymore. Finally, Leon said something controversial. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Look at, him, look at Leon. He's like, I'm just staying under the radar today again. We, we said that probably, on Wednesday. I called him that on Wednesday. Start, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna create a deep fake Leon, and I'm <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this guy's gonna say everything. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hard? We have the software for it. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. All right, you guys ready to move along? Yes. yes. All right, Crown Legends, one hat. Um, I like that a lot though. Hey. A snap. Yeah. Cart this bitch. Ooh. Okay. I was about to, man. I was about to. I already have it in my real cart, so. I like this hat. Ariane, how do you feel about this? Oh, I like is it uh hooked to like the green monster or something at Fenway? Yeah, Yeah, I mean 2.0. Yeah, I don't have uh, trippy socks. Yeah, I don't have many Boston hats, but this one's nice. Looks nice. Mm. Oh, you need to get a bot. That that's a classic logo. Yeah, that be yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a I'm a New York guy, so sometimes I don't feel right wearing like Boston gear, but I guess I'm gonna have mm. to break it. You're wearing a hat based on a drug addiction. <laughs> that's true. Addicted to acid. But I mean, oh, Le- Leon knows. You can't get addicted to acid. He knows from experience. Not a man his size. He would need a he would he would need a wallpaper size, a roll of wallpaper to get himself high. <laughs> Them little paper things and get his shit. <laughs> Leon goes to the Home Depot and gets himself a fucking roll of it the size of wallpaper. All right, cool. So you like this one? How about how about you, Snap? You like this hat? It's a beautiful hat. Um, I Can wish Crown Legends. Uh yeah, I did the pizza. Oh, that's right. Um, I wish I, I just wish Crown Legends would drop more hats. A uh, one hat a week is wow, like golly. Um, yeah. But this is this is a this is an amazing hat. I mean, they nail they're nailing it. Uh, they the last three weeks in a row, I've said yes to to all three hats. Listen. Snaps right. It's opinion based. I think I think he's a little bit behind. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The behavior's uncalled for. Yeah. He, he's way behind. He's I think he's at our hot topic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was three it. hours ago. <laughs> three hours. Can somebody go back in time and get him. Can, can somebody go back in time and say, "Hey, dude, come over here." <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll see. He'll, he'll hear us talking about him yeah. in about he'll hear half us an hour. Like tomorrow when yeah. he gets to this part of the show. He'll hear us. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move along, fellas. All right, who we got? Oh, slide down the pole. Oh, I knew Jason would be on the team playing Jane for this one. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. Jason's mm-hmm. one of the first people to respond when I post these. He mm-hmm. loves himself a good fucking poll. I, you know I, mean? I do. I do. And yeah. and I like to answer these too. <laughs> he loved <it. laughs> so we put I hope you guys listen. Can we do can we do a little poll here? Do people like the polls that we're doing? Because they're getting a lot of responses, man. They are. Every time I put one up, it's getting some good responses. So um I put this up here. Your fitted hat with a side patch or with uh or without basically side patch versus plain Jane. This one was pretty lopsided, it was 79% side patch, which like like a good poll is lopsided. <laughs> a little crooked. You like it. you don't like your poles straight, huh? No, no. So, Seventy nine percent side circle. patch. But we expected this, right? Seventy nine percent side patch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is to be expected, but I love your take. So, snap. You had a really uh, interesting comment, um, but let's pull up the comments here. One, let's uh, one for one against, right, right man? Mm-hmm. Let's pull them up, and then we'll talk about Snap's comment. All right. So, no side patch. Millions of dope hats getting made. And all, and they all got a side patch. I don't want to look like everyone else. I started wearing side patches from like 2015, 2019 before everyone jumped on the wave. 
Now I just want a fire colorway and logo with no stickers. I make the I make the hat the hat. Don't make me. It's just missing a comma there, but I get it. Um, all right, so now let's let's see uh, one for the side patch. To be honest, considering the price we're fitted today, I figure I might as well get a side patch for what I'm paying. Just saying. Mm. Mm. All like right, so let's, let's start with Jason because Jason is a is a. If you don't, if you if you if you're a real like loyal viewer of our show, you'll you'll know when we started this show, and we brought Jason aboard. Jason could not stand. He would not buy a hot hat with a side patch. No, nope. hey. he would not. Then there was a hat by uh, someone who will remain nameless on our show now. Mm -hmm. um, that that hat opened opened the door for Jason's now addiction. He's addicted to side patches. Uh, so, no, I'm not. I wouldn't say addicted, but it's the only option really ever when you're buying mm -hmm. a hat. Uh, yeah, we actually had an unboxing of that hat on on, mm -hmm. the, on the it was show. A big moment on VFTV. It was, it was. Um, you know, I just I think they're getting overplayed. Like, well, they have been overplayed. Like, not every hat needs a patch, especially on some of these teams where they only have like four patches. Like, mm. it's just constantly reused, and it's just getting played out a little bit, in my opinion. I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like um, since I'm newer to the fitted game, like. It's been like one or two years since I've like been looking at hats. Like, how has like the hat been game hat game been in the past? Like, have people always done side patches, or have they no. primarily locked no side patches? It, for like prior to 2017, you rarely saw a side patch. Yeah. So okay, go go figure here. Mm -hmm. Um, he was wearing side patch hats. They must have been like black nasties or something because that's yeah. really the only place you saw them. No, no, no I mean, Normally, you wouldn't <clears throat> like as a collector, you wouldn't really get too excited about it because it would mean it's either like a liquid chrome side patch, like a felt chrome, like a felt side patch that they stuck on very, very quickly. Yeah. Dude, there were some new there. Were, do you guys remember when New Era was gluing on the New Era's logo on one side sometimes? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 2016, right? Oh my god, yeah, they were so gluing the New Era logo on. So it was always associated with like fast fashion. So if they needed like a World Series or like a playoff yeah. or whatever really quickly, they would just attach it to hats that were already made. So you wouldn't really enjoy them that, to be honest. Mm. I don't know. It, it just feels to me like on some of these designs, we're just throwing on patches for the sake of throwing on patches, and it's it's just getting old. I'll tell you as a as a now as a store owner you you start to make them and you're like when you make a plain jane you're almost expecting it not to sell yeah you know? I, I i no i get why stores don't do more plain janes like i get it it's risky i, I would just as a consumer i would like to see more more options jason on on our site now you're going to start to see like just plain um new era flagless gray under wolves just nice we're, we're doing a, a whole a whole a whole lot of those because there's there, a place for those still. You're there, you're allowed to see those without the new era flag, mm -hmm. or is it because of the retro on field? Ones? Yeah, yep. yeah. We did LA, the Athletics, Pittsburgh. There's still a place for those. Like I, I believe there's a lot more people like you that love them and that would buy stuff like that. Um, but you know, the problem is you. You don't want a world where, and I know you're not saying this, but you don't want a world without side patches because no, it becomes extremely boring. But you also, there's certain logos like that Toronto hat that Leon likes. I yeah. think I heard someone say that it would be better as a plain Jane, and I think you're right. I, yeah, I, I said, that. said that. Yeah, was it you, Ariane? You said it. That's and, that's it, man. I, I just and also, and also too, a lot of the the scripts, like. Yeah. The the size of the script and the size of the patch just doesn't look right together. So on some, mm -hmm. a lot of the ones with the scripts, I would like to see more plain Jane. Like that hat Pierre is wearing is like a perfect example. If it didn't have a side patch, I wouldn't mind it because the script is like big and yeah. nice. But if the side patch was any bigger than that little bat, it would it would just break the hat. Well, it depends. Like I, I think I saw Hesby write this somewhere. If like as long as the front logo is not the size of the Titanic, you know, like I like a side patch. I think mm -hmm. he's right. I think I think some of the like even the Chihuahua hat we did that would look fine as a the one that says Chihuahuas across the front that would look fine as a plain Jane. Absolutely. Um, 
Uh, well, Snap, I'll ask you your opinion, then we'll move on because I know you wrote something there that it was yeah. something. Along, I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want to quote you exactly. But it was something along the lines of, you know, sometimes I, I'd like a plain Jane if they're just going to use a stupid patch that I don't want to see or isn't done right. Well, yeah, we we all know that there are logos out there that are hideous, like mm-hmm. the Texas League, um, and like mm-hmm. the billboard. Some you know, there's this there's, there's some side Home patches that collection. make the uh, the yeah. hat uglier. Um, mm-hmm. so when it's that when it's like that, then I would prefer a plain Jane, right? If it's a little, 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 little logo, I prefer a plain Jane. I love side patches because it gives you a history lesson. It gives you some connection to the city. It tells a story. Um, I like. I like. I just like to look at the side of the hat and and see an extra detail about what you're wearing. I think mm-hmm. it's cool, you know. Um, and but not my, not all the patches should be allowed. Only mm-hmm. certain. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for that conversation. Go ahead. Did someone else have something to say? Sorry. All right. Well, let's uh, let's move along here to Crown Minded. Crown Minded had these three hats drop. Um, thoughts on these, uh, Leon? All side baddies. Uh, the Vegas Gold uh, side baddie over metallic. I, I'm not really for me. I, I can't help but think that, like in three, four years, you're gonna look at it and and feel like it's a dated hat. I like all three. I like, the, than I like the athletics the best, I think. Yeah, I don't like that Dodgers logo. No, me neither. I don't like that logo at all. I think that logo belongs on a 948 frame, and that's it. Because it's small. All right, cool. All right, let's move along here, fellas. As Edge so out where? Edge Outwear with one of the worst collabs of the century. They uh, <laughs> they decided to uh, they decided to collab with one of the worst people in the entire community. Someone one of the worst stand. designers, one of the worst designers in the hat community. They decided I call, to. Yeah, I call I call him uh, I call him uh, Dirtbag God. Um, mm-hmm. And he's got these three hats that drop. So uh, snap! Why don't you take us through these? Yeah, you got the Yeah Baby Bronx Bombers there that sold out, even though my hats don't sell out. Um, we got the well, when coldest. you only order 18, it's easy to sell yeah. out. Of. Mm-hmm. So we got mm-hmm. the coldest ice twins right there, Christy Blue. Mismatch patch. This right here, um, um, but it's acceptable because the twins was part of the organization, so there mm-hmm. is a clause. Still, it's it's still mismatch. Now I know now, but snap, you know what this reminds this rem, this now I know why you were so vehement about the other time we saw this combo and you were able to <laughs> recite it perfectly. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do. I was see, like, my, how does my, this motherfucker, my, I like, how does this motherfucker know so much about the history of this team all of a sudden? Yeah, like, he's yeah. like, yeah, well, they were part of the same organization. He actually corrected me. Yeah. yeah. So, um, no, but um, this hat, this, this, this here, I'm claiming this colorway. This is this is the snap colorway right here. This crispy blue, black, uh, black brim, gray under. Um, I love this colorway. You're gonna see more hats in this colorway. A beautiful hat, and then we got the Paul Wall uh, Space Cowboys right there. Uh, the That's people's a society hat, the people's champ right there. And yeah, man, um, shouts out to everybody that copped. Uh, some sizes are still available on the Twins and the Space Cowboys. Make sure you get it if it's available in your size because these are beauties in hand, man. I have well, all now. Two. I don't need to get the Twins because I know there's more colorways of this, more of this <laughs> colorway coming out. So. Plus, plus the twins didn't even exist when that side patch was was used. So, <laughs> well, well, now that Jason's <laughs> uh, taking a pause and being a dick, I want to say I think all three of these are good hats. Snap, really nice job. Um, my favorite, um, I think, at the time of filming, uh, was the Bronx Bombers. But the more I see, I like the twins a lot too. Um, and the Space Cowboys, I like that you use that big uh, that big logo on the side. I, I do like that. That looks pretty nice to me. Um, okay. Really nice job, Snap. Um, and all yeah, the islands yeah. match the hat. So uh, I, I'm there you I'm go. Extremely, extremely yeah, the too. Uh, you know, you know what's so crazy? Um, the the space cowboys, when I when I first when I first did the dark pewter with the black crown, I was like, uh, if you curve the brim 
Oh, that hat looks so good. I'm not even a person that likes to curve their brims, but on that Cowboys, if you curve that motherfucker, oh man. Snap I don't the Magic City hat that that um I did with Pat was was really like derived from your love of the strip club. I Correct. think I'm gonna make a dirt colored snapback. <laughs> what? No. Com commemorate all the collabs you've done. Hear hear me oh, out, man, because it's like a, almost a play on this whole like your head to dirt thing. I'm gonna make the the best fucking dirt colored hat God's ever created. You should do oh. it with the but but look, was it the Beloit snappers? Ooh, that'd be perfect. And snap, mm. would you wear that? What I don't know. You got we got to see how it looks. It's oh look no no, good. trust me, snap. It's gonna look good, man. It's gonna look good. I promise you, it's gonna look good. We'll see. <laughs> will you will you stand up when I'm talking to you? Like look at you. Look up. I can't even see your face, man. And yeah, and. Look We'll see how it looks, man. <laughs> Stop putting that guy's stuff up there to troll him. Like, <laughs> and blanket brims, you'd be nice to fucking snap. I already warned you. I warned what you. If not, he, what if he, he, he is, No, he, he said is being this. nice. He is being yeah, nice. Yeah, this is him nice. There you go. He says he does like shit brown UVs. No, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, like brown, I, I haven't, um, to be honest, um, I haven't done a mud brown in a long time. I'm going to leave that guy. I'm going to leave that to the other clown. Um, that be talking about me. Let him let him keep that mud brown shit. Um, um, yeah. Uh, Adrian, just so you're aware, that Magic City, we're not doing a pre order. I did a re order. I actually ordered them today. Um, so once you see those go up, hit me up and I'll make sure that you get one since your order was canceled. All right. Let's continue on here, guys. Beautiful. Okay. Topper store. Ooh, Topper store. Ooh. All right. So Topper Store Europe, how about you guys uh, get this going as I start to get the uh, drop ready? You want to talk about this? Mm -hmm. uh, right off the bat, my eyes are going for the Chicago script, the Tides, the Reds, and the Cleveland. What about you, Jason? So, How do you feel about those brown and pinks in the middle? I almost, I almost feel like on that Phillies one. It should have been copper with the pink outline instead of the other way around. It's just a lot of pink on that logo. Yeah, I don't know. The outline is the outline's copper though. The outline's copper. Yeah, yeah. I love the yeah. Chicago on the bottom. Looks really good though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that logo. Yeah, yeah. Are we liking the stomper and the digi? It's hard to read. It's kind of yeah, muddy. it's hard to see. That yeah, copper the... might be too close to the digi camo. The and the gray, there's like gray in the elephant too. It gets lost. Yeah, the Chicago script is real nice. I saw him post a picture of it. Yeah, like isolated. Yeah. You can't really see it there. Well, like mm -hmm. you can't see it um, predominantly there. Add the um, tides to my cart. I really like that. Nice. I, Jason, to answer your question, okay. I kind of, I, I like it better with the, the pink with the copper outline. I do on the Chicago. I, I I think on the Philly. I don't know. It just feels too pink. I think I would have liked it better with the P with the stars. Because it's Ooh, not maybe maybe the logo is too thick or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. But I like I I love you know me you you know this. I love brown and pink together. I think it looks good. Uh, our friend just made a purchase. The tides is going in your cart. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, okay. Out of the tides. How you feel about that one, Pierre? I like it. I like it. And I like the, the one, I like the tides the, on the front. That other the side logo. I don't like that on the front. You see that side? That's the front, but I don't like that on the front. I like mm -hmm. I like get it here. What side is like an N? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Like anchor. anchor. Yeah, okay. Stylized yeah. as an N. And if you don't have that uh Seattle in your collection, that that's I mean, we've seen that done so many times, but that Seattle's clean. Uh, Topper Store USA, and there's one additional hat here that really isn't Topper Store USA, and that's the uh, Colorado and Indians there. That that's not that's not Topper Store USA. But um, the rest of these are. Uh, so you've got quite a bit of choices here. I will say, the 5950 um, A frame did extremely well. We sold out on the Gwinnett Stripers and the Las Vegas 51s. 
We did really well on the White Sox, and the 45s has uh, some sizes left. On the White Sox does too, but not, there's very little left in it from a depth perspective. Um, that Mariners plane, Jane, you have the Eugene Emeralds, the M's. We did it in full poly. You got the Sky Sox. You got that Hartford Wolfpack 4.0, the Chihuahuas 2.0, the Magic City. Um, and Snap, just for good measure, put the Sky Sox up a second time. <laughs> He really butchered this fucking slide. I don't know what he did here. You got a bunch well, of listen, I'm swiping my credit card because I'm swiping it, baby. I'm getting you that wolf pack hat. You better fucking buy magic. something off this slide after you hacked up my fucking slide. Look at this. In the magic city. In the it's magic train like wreck. Can I uh I want to make my final purchase that Chihuahua's? Okay. I love that Chihuahua. I'm gonna man. buy the Hartford snap. Hartford. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Hartford. For me, like I, I, I try. I want to try to share like what I like and and what I like and what I, I didn't like how it came out. So, the one I was I was most happy with was probably the Magic City. It came out better than I expected. It came out really well. But there's a bunch here. I think the Sky Sox came out well. I think the Wolf Pack and the Chihuahuas came out well. The one that I didn't like was the Hudson Valley Renegades. Um, I feel like the Hudson Valley Renegades that front could have been if it was wider i would have loved it it's just sized a little bit too small for the front um but i i absolutely um i absolutely i i gotta be honest with you i'm not just saying this because they're they're ours i i love the way most of these came out i do when i open the box I was like yeah these are these are good um and for those that are on the fence about the 59 58 frame um the these things they fit amazing and and they're consistent so um Give those a shot. Leon had a chance to try on a size eight, so even the big heads can wear them. Yeah. Um, true to and, size, same yeah, size. True. Yeah, the only issue I saw was there was a couple one quarters that that fit a little tight, but this is the first run, so you know that's going to happen from time to time. All right, so now it's time to drop a hat. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, um, Leon, can you can you show the picture of the hat that's dropping? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Give me a second. Or so Peter, do you have it? Head to the site now before I drop this thing. All right, hold on a second. So this we're gonna go ahead and drop right now. You've got the Dodger dog in metallic copper, metallic blue. You got the LA on the side in metallic blue, green under. Yes, there's a batter man. This thing is uh, if you're a fan of mascot hats, this is the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this now. And Leon, um, you guys can continue on here. All right, let's do it. Oh shoot, I gotta go ahead and fix this now. Yo, that dog, listen, let me tell you something. You guys can make fun of that Dodger dog all you want. The metallics on it, it oh it shines. Oh you want, it shines. You, you want to see a picture of it, Snap? Of what the Dodger dog? Yeah, you're asking me to pull it up. Oh, no, I guess for the viewers, but, I mean, yeah. Pierre just showed it off. Yeah, so we can cool. continue on. All right, All right here we go. We're going to go to Hat Dreams. Man, that Ricky Henderson hat blew out. Oh, it's like a, a patch that no one has. Yeah. At least a good version of it, you know? I, I was just surprised, you know? Team colors. Mm-hmm. Beautiful hat, beautiful stadium. Yeah, patch. The Philadelphia one's pretty good. Yeah, I think the Phillies the winner, mm -hmm. followed by the Oakland. They're all solid though. Rush one's going to be out there this weekend. That uh, athletics hat we made almost the identical one. All right, the Dodger dog is up, guys, and already starting to sell. So get over to the site now, and we can continue on here. All right. I, it looks like AI has taken over the hat world. AI has taken over the hat world, guys. What are you talking about? The, the backgrounds of these pictures. When now, now they're doing the photos, and they're paying their little extra money to get the AI to give them a little cool background. It's mm. The same background on the ones on the left. No, what I'm saying is, each, like, I, if you haven't been noticing. These stores don't have professional photography studios, right? 
And you could tell that the backgrounds are AI generated in a lot of the pictures. Okay. Like like your edge drop? Like my edge drop. They, they, you know what? <laughs> Too bad Colorado hasn't gotten the uh, fucking AI yet. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> no, black drop in a ball. Shout out to Calvi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sliding down the pole. Is Pierre here? I think he froze. He's coming back. He froze. Okay, he'll right. be back. So this is the eternal debate. Stickers on, stickers off. Um, these ones get pretty disrespectful, I feel like. The, the oh, my God. So it. <laughs> it's Between so the young crazy. people and the old people. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, seriously, who gives a fuck? Like, Wear your hat how you want. The only thing I ask is you take the fucking price tag off. The price tag. The barcode. Yeah. yeah. yeah price take tag, the barcode I think off. University has got to come off. Every the other sticker, I... like you want on there, go for it. For me personally, I take them off, but just take the goddamn barcode off. Take I the understand. stickers off. Take all the stickers off. Take them all off. <laughs> the fucking stickers no, I understand. I understand for the people that curve their brims, then yeah, the sticker kind of looks silly, but. Flat brims, you gotta have that gold seal, baby. No, you don't. <laughs> the resellers. You green. ever see these? You ever see these guys that wear like designer suits and they leave the fucking like the fucking oh, tag the, arm, on? the arm tag? Yeah. Come on, man. Take that shit off. Everyone knows I mean, the fucking mirror hat. It, but see, a lot of times, snap the gold. The gold sticker isn't put on straight. You gotta take that shit off if it's not straight. It do get bad when the the hat gets worn and the sticker mm -hmm. falls off. <laughs> you get a crop circle, or or the sticker starts fading. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't wear them enough for it to get to that point anymore, so I leave mine off. Listen, oh, I, the worst thing my son ever had to do, right, is I don't know if you guys remember this. On I made him go through ball, with me and take every sticker ball. off of every hat I had. <laughs> he had like a massive ball of stickers. He did. It was huge. Because it, I, I don't. Go ahead, snap. Go ahead. Just the barcode, man. The barcode, take it off. This this one is fine, man. This is this is a beauty, man. <laughs> I will never, never, never walk out with that fucking sticker on my brim. You did. You used to. No. When's nope. the last time you had a sticker on your brim? Um, this morning when I peeled it off to put it on. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying when's the last time you actually walked outside of the house with a with a sticker on the hat? I literally heard him just say he doesn't do that. I don't do no, that. No, I'm talking about when was the last he you he has he has before in his lifetime. I don't know, sure. maybe when I was like fucking maybe when I was like fucking 24 or something. I don't know. I'm a grown up, man. Listen, but this is the thing. Like people are saying, wear it the way you want. Yeah, but this is just like a topic to have fun with, man. Like I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want the fucking stupid sticker on my hat. I think it looks fucking idiotic. What do you mean idiotic? <laughs> they look stupid. Look like look like a <laughs> sticker so clown. <laughs> How does it look stupid? I just don't understand. This this, this is what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have to sit like that to hide it. Yeah. No, listen. I just I'm not. Leon, fix the layout. I don't know which one you had. Sorry. Uh, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm just not a fan of it. Snap. Thanks. I think because, like, it's like, I don't know. It's it, like I said, it reminds me when people leave, like, someone wears their first suit and they're like, oh, they're so excited that they have a Calvin Klein suit. So they leave the Calvin Klein label on the fucking sleeve. For me, it no, makes, it, the it, same. It makes no. it feel like it's new. There's, for me, there's nothing like wearing a new hat. So the longer you can bottle that moment, that's no, it's, it's not the same. People over here talking about leaving the stickers on the jeans. No, it's not the same. There's something about this this seal that is so cool, man. It is fly your own flag, do what you want. But uh, for me, man, like uh, you know, I look at someone with a sticker on their hat. I'm like, you know, <laughs> fucking dweeb. <laughs> wow. I feel, I feel like it's like. It's like kind of like the same with shoes and uh, clothes. You want to keep it like as fresh and as clean as possible when you get out the box. But if you're going to wear it, you got to wear it to how you're comfortable wearing it. So if you got to take the stickers off, you got to bend the brim. You got to do what you got to do. It's yeah. up to you. It's like a way to tell yourself if you wore it before. 
But uh, Blank and Brims actually has taken something that I was about to say too, which is like, would you leave the Stock X tag on your sneakers? No, because I would never buy from Stock X. Okay, but if you would snap, have you ever bought a pair of sneakers on resale? Snap. No, but um, Stock X uh, is not as iconic as New Era. That's true. Stock X. Stock X didn't make the 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 damn the damn shoes. Um, I just, yo, bro, I just think this this sticker is so iconic, man. It just, it's a part of the hat. You see what Snap's saying? I feel like he attaches it to like a lot of like people he might have seen wearing, you know, New Era fitted with like that like sticker. He thinks it's like an iconic image, you know, like it's like that's yeah, how he he's, thinks he's, he's the just, most. He's just trying to it. flex. <laughs> no. No, 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 yeah, no. I, I, Jay Z never took his stickers off. See, that's like the old school fashion. I feel like keeping all the stickers on and stuff. I know. I saw that too, but I grew up. I grew up in the same time frame, you know? You know, it's okay. I mean, listen, like we said, um, there's a small part of the community that still likes to keep their stickers on. And this yeah. is the one, and this is the one that got the most votes. Out of all the topics, was this? I think thing. because, dude, listen. For those of us that have been in the community for a long time, you know this is always a polarizing topic. This one and um, one of the ones like that, curving. Yeah, curving is probably another. Well, curving I mean, came these will kind of go hand in hand. I feel like, yeah. I think the same. Yeah, of course they do. They're 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 going to be very similar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, China Bang is very polarizing. Mm-hmm. We're finding good topics. We'll keep it going. If I, if I was to take the sticker off this hat, I would feel you know, I, I, it would it would really like bother me. If I took well, it you off, won't be, you won't be able to raffle it later. No, right. you won't oh, be able to sell it. Oh, you won't oh, be able to sell that dead stuff. Oh, yeah. oh, then y'all gonna be in petty. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, let's let's, let's show the oh, comments. Oh, you want to low blow me like that? <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, man. How are you gonna sell them, motherfuckers, nah, man? Nah. That's why you want black sweatpants. That's why you want to leave your stickers on. Nah, nah. see there you go. See, that's a low blow. Damn, that's <laughs> not, I'll, blow, shut, I'll, man. Down. I'll, I'll turn my computer off. It won't be no motherfucking slides. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the comments. So, damn, what's the first comment? All right. <laughs> All right, half cast one. I actually put more stickers on. I'll grab anything. Stickers from fruit <laughs> or my daughter flying around. I want to be able to prove my hat is fresh from a I distance. Think, I think this was a facetious one. So he's obviously <laughs> this is the best comment. Best comment right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see the next comment. If you're from New York City, then you know we leave that sticker on the fashion capital. We set the trends. Oh my God! Fucking you know Spider Flat. He's a young man, though. Uh, uh, Jason, he's real young. He's like he's like 17 or 16. Then he shouldn't um, be allowed to comment on YouTube. His parents should be monitoring <laughs> his internet Instagram. usage. <laughs> Whatever. His parents should be monitoring his internet usage. His dad's probably watching with him right now, Jason. Yeah. He's probably fucking booking his hey, flight to Iowa hey, right now. Hey, <laughs> Spider Dad 40, slap your son for me. That's Get out of here, man. Don't talk. This kid's a good kid, man. All right. You guys ready to move along? Yeah. Lids HD, um, possibly... One of their best uh, collabs outside of baseball and basketball and professional sports. You love the tops. You love the tops collab they did. Remember? No, <laughs> I took that shit out of. That's the one where they stopped sending you shit from Liz because you. <laughs> Send me the cards. Snap, Go. Snap got knocked off that fucking influencer list so fast. so fast. Oh, so fast! They unfollowed me. They unfollowed me from all the Lids accounts. Is yeah, <laughs> like this motherfucker came and pretend to like our shit. Take him off the list. <laughs> the relationship's uh, never been the same. Man, this this hoodie, this this hoodie, and these and these hats are dope, man. I like them. Mm. It it it, 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 it reminds it's like a Spike Lee joint. You know what I'm saying? Like it just gives me a cool. Like it's like I like them a lot. Snap's trying to get that fucking influencer box back over to his house. Look at him. Nah. <laughs> nah, Liz can go to hell, but um <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> fucking snap. 
<laughs> Listen, I'll never forget that show. He's like, these things suck. Who wants a pack of baseball cards on the side of their hat? And meanwhile, at Lid's headquarters, they're like, take this motherfucker off the list. Yeah. Take him off the list. Take rookie of the year off the list. Right. Yeah, I mean, um, Breton is rolling his grave right now. If you wouldn't seen what Liz is doing to the company. <laughs> okay, let's move on to uh, the next retailer. My fit is where's Hat Club? Oh, there's somewhere in here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Snap, what the fuck, man? Where's Hat Club? I, I got him on here somewhere. I'm so glad that the slides got better. <laughs> I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. <laughs> did it on purpose. All, those, all those stupid comments that I was seeing under the video. But I want to see all the hat club hats. <laughs> One guy called hats and hats. Snap, you're a hater for not putting all the hat club hats on here. <laughs> It was so many people complaining in comments about some fucking hat club. Yeah, because they don't got to do the slides. I said, no, I got, not, I got, some, I got, not some, not some, all of the hat club hats. I said, I got your hat club hats next week. I got them, all right. All right, okay. well, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sliding Mr. Red Legs, just sliding right into Jason's heart. And we've got um, a couple other caps here. So what are your thoughts here? Uh, let's start with you, Ariane. Uh, I hate the I hate the mascot logos, but that one especially I just don't like it. Um, but I that uh, I like that mascot logo. Like you like that one? I do because it's like I don't know. It's not like a seam ornament like a lot of them are. <laughs> um, like Max, the mascot one I like is the. Uh, uh, actually, I really don't like any of them to be honest. But, <laughs> like but the what's the like is like none of them. Which one's the uh, one on the left? Is it what's like that camo called? Top Digi. left, did you camo that one? That one's cool, but I wish I could see the words better. Like, I like the you're right, did you camo with the black, but I can't see the words from that view. Like, you can't see shit, right? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the bottom that lake, I think, what is that, Lake Woods or Lakeland? Lakeland, Lakeland yeah. yeah, yeah, the Lake oh, one. Lakeland, Lakeland awesome. one is the one I like. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. Hey, snap, cart yes. to Lakeland, okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good card. That's a good card. How many did I? How many have I carded so far? I'm waiting for Hat Club. I'm, I think I'm at three. I'm at three too. Yeah, you're yeah, at three I'm now. All right. How do you How do you guys feel about that horoscope logo? Kind of. I hate mm. that. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. Never. No, I don't like that one either. No. I don't know. I I don't know like why. <sighs> You know how much I, I've always been a John Jay fan. I just don't know why he did 107 of these sliding Mr. Redlegs. Yeah, you only got two. You got two hats left. They're all Mario. Inspired. I'm saving one for Stash. I want to. I'm, I'm saving one for Stash. Are all of them really Mario inspired? Yes. That's crazy. Um. Yeah. This looks like exclusive fitted to Sports World, uh, type of thing where they just went crazy on one logo. Listen, I'm always very positive about John Jay, but I have to admit it it's got that feel to it, right? Like when they get a hold of a logo, like, yeah, I love this logo, and they just do it on everything. Yeah. Because he yeah. used to like when he would do like a Nintendo hook, right? Or something like this, or a Mario pack, he would take all like remember Zelda pack? That was legendary. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Nate yeah. The, his Zelda. Nate the Great Pack, legendary. Because those hats stood on their own. They he did. He did a Mario pack before, and they were legend. The Mario pack he did. No, he did. A, he did a Mario Kart. Kart. He did yeah, Mario Kart. Kart too. Yeah. I have friends that bought the Mario Kart one, and they don't even like fitteds. See, his packs were legendary, man. Legendary. Would you have spaced them out? Do the same. No, I wouldn't. Space. No, he shouldn't have done all the same logo, man. Yeah, yeah too much. It's too much, right? Like what his you, best you, pack? You think you said you you, you wait? Oh, I'm sorry, Pierre. Do you think he used the logic of I I I'm the first one to do this logo, and now all these other stores are gonna fucking go crazy on the logo? So why am I, I might as well just deliver them all at one time? Who? But but at what cost? 
So I'm going to start like, I, honestly, like my, my Instagram isn't going to be just topper store USA anymore. I'm going to take some of my collection pictures and put them up there again. I'm going to show his, I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to pull out the, the, the Zelda pack. Right. And the Nate, the great pack. And I'm going to show you guys like, again, like just to refresh people's memories, like how great they were. Yeah. Like they were legendary. Magic and, shields is up there too. And cool. you can wear all those hats. The, the, the Zelda pack, every single hat, was great every single one of them magic treehouse one two three um and the uh chrome remember the chromes mm -hmm. and the double ups the chrome the yeah the chrome the, the chrome the chrome double ups too <laughs> the chrome yeah, double ups the yeah. double ups i still don't like those yeah but the ones he did the the jackie robinson the hank, the hank aaron, aaron jackie robinson yeah some of them were really good because they just like connected things yeah, but back. teach their own you don't like them you don't like them but Baltimore. Remember when he did a pack about the hotels that he traveled to? No, the Route 66. Route 66, Route 66 was another great pack. pack. Yeah, that was a good pack. Mm -hmm. This isn't. This is not. This is not. Th to me, this is not John Jay. This is fast food John Jay. John Jay, yeah. if you want to do a Nintendo pack, and you want to use mascots, like I know that guy could have done a, a, an incredible pack with all different mascots if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know he could have. This is not – this is – he has to get back to that. I just think he was like, I'm going to capitalize on this logo. I'm not going to let other people take my logo like they always do. And boom. But you can't stop that. Yeah, that's, well, that's why he dropped eight and ten of these. So that, that's not so, going to stop that, would it? I don't know. I feel like the best way to do it is like if it's a really nice logo like Pierre, were you the first one to do that Grizzlies? Or no, that Fresno oh, Grizzlies. Man. Honestly, mm. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know, but if, I didn't get mind seeing that in like three, four or five different colorways because it was just a really good for, like front logo. This is like very particular. It's like if you're not a fan of this team or this mascot, it's like a miss. Right now, uh, Trang he's working on ransom notes. Uh, locals right now. <laughs> he's doing a great job. <laughs> don't All those ransom it. note logos are not it either. I don't like those. I don't know, man. Listen, he needs to get back to 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 doing the variety like he used to do, and and not spamming a logo like this. This is too much. And I I don't know if I believe the whole thing of like this has a video game feel to it. The logo it does. It kind of has a video game feel to it. It looks like it's something that you would find in a video game. So I think maybe that's why he did it. I don't know. It's the Mario pose. Like it looks like Mario jumping in the air. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's move on, guys. Noble North. Mm. I love this hat. I don't like the UV. No. Exact same thoughts. I don't know if you watched the show where what I said about this hat. You said it was like scary, like a, like someone was going to run away when they saw you wearing it, and I just don't get that. <laughs> Cody's look, at this, look at this hat. This hat is fucking very offensive and vicious. Offensive, yeah. <laughs> what? You got you got this fucking monster with a fucking axe in the dark. Look at his look at his fucking. He's gonna chop down a tree. Nah, he's gonna do more than that. You don't you don't go chopping a tree like looking like See, that. That's just because you got a twisted mind, dude. I think he's just going out there to chop down a tree for his uh, sure. for his fire. I love that back logo too. That looks sick. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, he rarely cool. retros his hats, like in the original colorway. So it's cool he did it. Yeah. All right, cool. Nice job, Ryan. Nice job, Noble North, as we move along here. Home game, New York. All right. I like how you uh, cut off, like, part of the logo and stuff. Um, put it in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, how you see, like, it's like New York. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Snap doesn't take criticism. Well, we're gonna get all mad. They didn't, they didn't pay for that advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, take us through these hats, man. You mind? Uh, yeah, we got uh three cool looking hats. Uh, Phillies, Baltimore, and <laughs> Athletics. Uh I really like this Baltimore hat, man. Nah, put the A's in my cart. Put the A's in the cart. Boom. I like that A's. Yes, look. All right. Put that A's in my cart. I'm a big fan of that Baltimore. I feel like I don't see that logo enough. 
that B? Almost that B, ever. yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see it. You don't like that? that? Like it's that. done well on this hat. I, I like this because they put that 50th on there, but like uh, I'm not a fan of that logo. Wow. True. Maybe it's just this hat, but they did it well. I like that. All right. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. No one else is putting anything in their cart. We might as well move along. Prosiety. And give me my credit card. Let's swipe it through. Area 51's dark camo. Swipe is coming in the cart. It's wow, a good wow. 51. You know, it's a it sneaky thing. hat. I'm, I'm going to make my last purchase. I'm going to buy that Diamondback script right there. Oh. The, yeah, you don't see that D back script. That time back script is fire. And it's got like this like teal in it with like the, the Ooh, I don't the yeah, the teal. I don't know, man. That that hat That's is nice. nice. Hmm. I think that whole drop is good. I mean the Dodgers a little bit light, but I do like the fifty ones and the D backs a lot. <laughs> the, the Astros not too shabby either. The brown one, it's just yeah, the, not the the side patch a little lacking. That that Astro don't side patch sucks. Yeah, it's so short. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Let's move along here, guys. Pro Image Colorado, Leon, take it away. Yeah, we had a couple hats drop. So um, Monday we had the Marauders and the Ottawa Lynx. Uh, go out, and then yesterday we had the uh, two Rockies, so that kind of uh, burnt wood, Vegas gold Rockies, and then the uh, black with dark green with the uh, uh, Hartford Yard goats at the side, so they're, they're affiliates. Um, and then today at 9 o'clock we dropped the uh, Roberto Clemente-inspired Montreal Royals, top right-hand corner. Um, also kind of looks like a hat that uh, Mac Miller um, put out um, many, right. many years ago before he passed away. And then the bottom one is a, a, an homage to Buck O'Neill. So Negro League legend was the first African-American coach um, in the MLB. He ended up scouting and finding players like Ernie Banks, uh, Lou Brock, uh, Lee Smith. So uh, Buck O'Neill uh, paying homage to his time with the uh, – Kansas City Monarchs and uh, Chicago Cubs. Yeah, they're lucky they have you. Pro Image Colorado sucks outside of what you do. These are some great hats. Um, Willis right, just did Marauders. a great catch. Yeah. Wait, did that uh, Montreal release yet again? It released yeah. at nine today. Okay. All right, I might have to hop on. Let me see that after show. That link yeah. shot is very, very nice. What? Yeah, nice job. Nice job with these, Leon. As we continue on here, guys. Anyone put anything in the cart? I can't take anything out of my cart, right? No. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, you can. You can take something <laughs> out of his cart. Get get rid of that pizza. Oh, wait, wait. wait no, we did say that, though. We did say that. Yeah, you guys did say that. No, no. The pizza, John, I, I don't know. But that I would have put that Montreal in there because that's really nice. I'm saving right. my spot. Last spot. Sneaker Town. Not for any of these, though. They went velvety, velvety in the hot Miami. I know. They're a little late, right? I mean. <laughs> mm. It's like the old welding studio. I like the colors of that St. Louis one. I yeah, that St. Louis the velvet, one. The velvet, I'm not, I'm not sold on. The Mets velvet looks nice. I love that St. Louis logo, though. All right. Well, you guys, uh, you said your word. Okay, here we go. So fresh. So we haven't got, released we, yet. We've got the we Luttrell. Yeah, I, I was going to say is athletics. Well. So another we've got the Luttrell Sprewell going hunting in the lower right. We've got – what else we got here? <laughs> we got – Warriors Luttrell Sprewell. Yeah, the athletic, oh, right, Warriors. The athletics are chasing kids. From when he went to college in high school. When he school. went to Cal, when he, when he took out Bobby Hurley and Duke. No, seriously. I'm gonna I'm gonna swipe my credit card and I'm getting this and, and I'm getting this car this hat. 
Which one? The A's. Mm. Yeah, that's the left or the right one? The left, the left one. Left. Mm. Beautiful hat. No one's jumping on uh, the Charles Sprewell going hunting? <laughs> the Charles Sprewell choking on a bear in the forest? <laughs> <laughs> The Charles Sprewell fighting a bear in the forest. <laughs> like the one, if, the one if, that... if if Latrell's Sprewell shits in the forest is what no <laughs> Snap, why are you finding it funny, Snap? Uh, I just Latrell. <laughs> that would be true. <laughs> this store is forever known for the Latrell Sprewells. Well, I mean there were a lot of Latrell Sprewell hooks, right? It was just about four. Teen. Four? <laughs> No, four, four. Four is a lot. They had, they had, they look, they had the trail at Golden State, the trail at Minnesota, the trail at the New York Knicks. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ! <laughs> and then, um, then they which, mixed. Wait, wait, which coach did he? Which coach did he choke? PJ Carlisle? Is that who it was? Carlissimo. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, same thing. They're all those guys are the same. <laughs> old white guys. So Alex, <laughs> just yeah, random know. old white guys. So um, Alex, this, this Oakland A's here is in a cow uh, colorway, which is Berkeley, which is right down the road from Oakland. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Jason Kidd is the man. Um, I I love Jason Kidd. He was cool up until he beat his wife. I don't know anything about that, but uh, basketball, pretty cool. No, he did. He, you know how I know is because when he, when he went to Boston, when he went to play Boston, they mm -hmm. all wore like his shirt that said number five wife beater on the back. Boston, oh, man, no. Fucking brutal, man. Brutal. Damn. Damn. Brutal. I know he got into a big fight with Jim Jackson. They were best friends. They played at the Dallas Mavericks together. Um, mm. it have, Jason, uh, Jason was dating um, – Holly Berry, and she was dating them both. That one and, was crazy. And they um they got into a huge fight over that woman. Tony Braxton is is who it was. Tony Braxton, I'm sorry. Yeah, Holly Berry, man, that one. Was... Tony Braxton was a beautiful woman, though, right? Beautiful, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. She had short short hair. That was the only thing. That was kind of like I don't right. know. Here we go. She was, she was singing Unbreak My Heart. Stash, 1250, and this is Pierre's final purchase. Yeah, I'm not the Bird Watchers. <laughs> I like bird that Bird Watchers hat, man. No, yeah, man. Cart, cart the bird, bird Watcher for me. Nice job, Jason. Oh, yeah. And you cart because the other one for me, Snap. The other hat is beautiful. That other Botanical Gardens hat is beautiful. Snap, just so you're aware, it looks like Maria's out over there. She's not like, uh, she doesn't seem to be working fast enough, just so you're aware. Huh. Maria, all right, I'll, I'll talk to Maria. No, I'm yeah, not a fan of that watch. Shot on his angel's hat? Like, why? Why would you keep your mouth shut in the angel's hat? What's the matter with the angel's hat? No. I like the ever screen with dark green. What's yeah, I like the angels. The watcher, color, looks like a, the watcher looks like a stalker. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I like, that, watch, man. I like I that, man. I like it too. I that was a that was an instant buy for me. Is that cool. like a minor league team? Yeah, Wichita Wranglers. Wranglers. Mm -hmm. Wranglers got it. So, Alec Harris, I, I I believe it's sublimated. It's a sublimated material. It is. Yeah. yeah, it is. I gotta I gotta be honest with you. Once I saw that um. Once I saw that that um that fabric in the catalog, I said absolutely not. <laughs> and then Ty found a way to make it work. Yeah. It got backdoored. So that's what he's talking about, Pierre. Oh. Uh, yeah, it didn't have much stock on that one. That was for sure. Yeah. Well, mine wasn't backdoored. Mine well, mine I yeah, I mean I bought it before everybody else, but it was a quarter. <laughs> so it was backdoored. Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at Snap. You can't see him. All you can see is his background, right? He's just over there chuckling. Oh my god. Um no, but the the botanical gardens is killing that that bird watcher hat for sure. Oh, you like the in, in in your opinion. 
in my opinion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Snap, you don't think that's a creative usage of that logo with that with that print? I, I find a lot of things creative. That doesn't mean that they're good. I did, I, no, I didn't ask you that. I said, do you find it creative? I don't like that. I find it creative. I, I said, like do you find the usage creative? I didn't ask, do you like the hat? Do you find that usage creative? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's creative. It is. Now, you cannot like the hat, but still appreciate that it's creative. That's a, it creative, is creative. Use. Sure. That's a creative use. Very creative use. All right. Look at that. He look, does look a little creepy, though. I will say that. <laughs> right? A little creepy. The stalker, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's move on here. I think my card is full. I think uh, yep, everybody's card is full. Everybody's card is full? Everybody. See, you did this on purpose to Hat Club. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no one has no Ew, money. I don't know. No one has no money left to spend. <laughs> no, no, I think I think in honor of uh, Hat Club, we're gonna each add. No, no, hat. fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. You guys ran out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Ran out of money. Did you fucking <laughs> fill your car already? Yeah, everyone's full. Yours. Everyone is full. Is full. I mean. We've we've been on here for four hours. We should all have four cards. <laughs> How long, what's the runtime right now? Two and a half hours, man. Whoa, wow. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we've given our fans some entertainment today. All right. Yeah. Still have these three hats drop. And this has got to be towards the end of the show, right? I think that how many more slides? Yeah. Are no, Steel, you know, still's the last. Steel's the last one, you know. This flew by, though. I know Jason's like a little cranky, but this flew by. Flew by. It's already tomorrow. <laughs> That's crazy. It's fucking tomorrow. But Jason, it's, a, it's an early uh, 10, 10.52 where Jason's at. Right, Jason? Yeah, it's way past my bedtime. 9 p.m. where John Doe's at. All right. What are you guys thinking here? Anything you like here? I like the middle I like, one. I like I still. Like. Yeah, the, the middle one's not bad. Is that a cord brim? Yeah. Reminds yeah, me of right. uh, Snap's drop, but with like a strong burn instead. Mm, true. The Cleveland mm. hook. Mm. Reminds me of Snap's drop, but this one's better. Leon, Leon check the DM in, in Facebook. All right. <laughs> what the fuck kind of weird shit yeah, is that? Yeah, <laughs> what? Me on Facebook? All right. Fucking weirdo. I, I'm not a big fan of like when they do the Yankee uh and then Who's they put like a little a heart or they oh, put gotcha. a rose. I don't like that. Leon, send to me what's where's hat club? There they are. Hat <laughs> That's it? Oh uh, no. No, oh. We, no. We gotta go through through fucking eighty pages of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking asshole, man. All right, so snap so snap uh snaps a dick, everybody. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk through um hat club now since Snap wanted to be um Snap Snap, you're being kind of you're talking about being petty, you're being petty. Oh, you know, very yeah. petty. All them stupid comments I received uh in the video. To, oh, Snap's a hater. He didn't show he didn't show hat 85 from Hat Club. <laughs> I wanted to see every set, and then I'm like, "How many hat club hats did you buy? Just one." <laughs> well, Snap, maybe you could have gotten him to buy three. You never know. All right, let's move to the next slide of hat club. Well, did you like the NFL pinkies? I like the uh, Eagles. I like some of them. Yeah, I, I like the Bills. The Bills is nice. I think the Dolphins, it works on a Dolphins hat. Yeah, very nice. Right? I don't like the Kansas City Chiefs one at all. No, too many. No, that looks like Hulk Hogan. Um, I like the uh, I like this uh, the Steelers. Yeah, that's good, too. All right, here we go. Next, uh, they had their color story. I'm mixed on these. Yeah, me too. I wasn't sure how I felt. I like the green and the black. I don't I like the Cubs one. I like the Cubs one, Jason, but I don't like the other ones. Yeah, yeah. correct. It's the red yeah. and the blue. 
Except for on the Cubs. Just, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. To me, the Cubs is the only good one. Yeah. I believe I believe the Cubs was the first one made. And they were like, wow, this is a great colorway. Let's do the other teams. And they didn't spend as much time as they did on the Cubs. That could be. You could be right, Snap. All right, let's play that video. All right, this is um, a frames of the uh, heart chocolates. This is all of them. These are fitted and a frames. Yeah. Did you guys like these? No. Um. Um. No. I I like the contrast stitching in the uh, visor, but. Not it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of half velvet. I never have been. I like the full velvet. All right, let's move on. Oh, and then a, a snapback velvet? What? That just looks very cheap. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> you say some weird shit sometimes. Like, why does that look cheap? These are, Yo, these, are just... these are pretty good, though. The dark chocolate, sweetheart. Yeah, these look good. Yeah, these mm-hmm. look good. These are kind of like a these are kind of like a spruced up version of remember what was that collection they did with the brown and reds? They called it the um Redwoods or something. Brownstone. I think we no. called them the Rosewoods, but I don't think Rosewood. that was the official name for it ever. That's just like what we dubbed them. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, are these are these came out good. All right, what's next? <laughs> snap snap was like you put these together like and he was there's fucking, a lot here holy yeah they is. had a lot of variety pack drop like just nah, snap, you're not you're not wrong there's a they, they they're dropping a lot of stuff man you're not wrong mm. you're not wrong yeah it's like it's, it's like okay because i mean we're giving them a lot of fucking promotion man they need okay. to pay us <laughs> we've been down this road before <laughs> that that llama and cactus. Yeah, going down the road. Hey, hey, snap! Down. How many of those other stores are paying us? Yeah, but we're not. We're we're doing one page, two page. These just because they drop one or two hats. These week. guys drop ninety hats a week. Like, True. what are we supposed to do? Tell people to go visit hotclub.com for more information. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they, yeah, I would be down for that because it'd be a fifteen minute show. Go visit this this site. Go visit this site. Go visit this site. And we're done. Like, well, well, now we're adding more interesting things. We're adding side topics and games. You're and right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Listen, I think I think it's okay. I think it's okay on occasion, but I, I do understand where people are coming from. They got you. Got to remember, any change is hard for people to get used to, right? So, like when you start to like trim out stores, and then all of a sudden you're cutting half a hat club, like it, it becomes an awful lot for people to digest. I do think what people like best, honestly, I do believe what they like best is just being here and just hanging out and stuff and seeing some hats and whatnot. But we also have to keep in mind that we're there, things are going to change from time to time. Like, how many more slides of hat club are there? Do we do we really need to see an avocado with a Mexican hat and uh, some or uh, sombrero and then uh, and then this Rockies hat right here? Fuck it, just it? stop the show. Why, why why even show hats? Just stop the show. I think I think I think Jason. No, has, we're good. We're good. Stop Jason has a secret, uh, a secret uh, doorknob with Hat Club guys. How about we just stop the show? No, I, I'm just, well, yeah, let's get to shopping cart then. Okay, let's do it. I think we have to add Arizona to um to the no uh, <laughs> snaps not allowed list because <laughs> <laughs> he's basically on a and uh, India and. Uh, Indiana, uh, Indiana, right? Indianapolis, yeah. For Indianapolis. Yeah. Yeah. For All, All right. right. Let's do the next slide. Well, yeah, this was the uh, this was the official last slide. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. You guys want to see the shopping carts? Yeah, let's see the shopping carts. All right, let's see them. All right. Mm, not bad, not bad. You like dogs? I like the two dog logos. Oh no, there's one more. Did, oh, did right. you already click, click me off? Just hit play. Huh? Just hit play. Just hit play. Okay, here we go. I, I really wanted to highlight this. My highlight of the week. Okay. Oh, I saw this. I saw this today. Highlight of the week. Uh let's watch this. I thought this was very cool and I wanted to show it to our audience if they didn't see it. Hey, excuse me, sir. What do you do for a living? Oh, Capital City. Can I come in? 
And of course, it's a hot smoke. How does the spirit of Harlem tie into what you do? Well, we are Harlem. Harlem is uh, in the spirit of everybody who works here. Uh, we've been in Harlem for 25 years. So we have a very united community where, like, if you're from Harlem, your fellow Harlemite is like your brother. So what is your biggest win as a business owner? Ooh, my biggest win, the fact that we've been here for so long and the fact that we have so much support in the community, a good relationship with our people. That's the biggest one. All right, that's all. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Oh, that was so cool, man. Yeah. Great store. Great, great store. And uh, a staple in that community on 125th. All right. Thanks for adding that, uh, Snap. Really nice touch. And with that, let's go through the shopping cart. So first we got Arian who loves uh, dogs. Uh, Arian, I said Arian. Look at what I just fucking did. <laughs> Arian, I just did a fucking snap. Who loves pizza, dogs, and the ocean. So nice job. This is a good cart, though, man. Thank you, thank you. Jason went None with One of these uh, stores paid us for this promotion, so let's just go on to the next slide. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Jason, Jason and Snap are a little frisky today. Nice. Look at this. Spicy. You, when when you when Jason goes after Snap, Snap always crosses his arms and kind of bobs up and down. If you notice, you <laughs> ever see it because he's trying to formulate what he's going to say back to him. All right, so <laughs> Jason got a nice cart built here. Let's let's take a look at the next cart. Let's see that thing too. Leon, solid, just Very as I, solid. just as I suspected, the weakest cart of them all. <laughs> Just as I suspect, <laughs> he's got the fucking fighting frog. He's got that's a great hat. That hat, when it lands in six months, is no, nah, that's a good looking hat. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking hat. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the next cart. By far, the best cart. By far, mm. yeah. Even, even though you broke people your rules. rules, what's that? Even though you broke one of your rules when you when you went shopping, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Rules are meant to be broken, buddy. <laughs> okay. I remember what you just said because <laughs> it's going to apply to this next slide. All right, let's see your stupid cart. Oh, wait. Here we go. You, wait, hold on. I didn't make a slide. Oops, Where the fuck on. is your cart? Hold on, hold on. I fucked up. Demerit, demerit. What the hell is going on here? This is like a... Demerit, demerit. Hold on, hold on. Where's Snap's cart? New to Leo. There you go. Yeah. There you go. See, it's fixed. Look Leon's at this. Got five, you know, he's got five hats on his cart. Yeah, rules are meant to be broken. Um, pizza, <laughs> one. A's, Wolfpack, Magic City. Gosh, yo, wow. Look at my, look at that, man. That's a nice cart right there. Yep. Snaps All right, over so budget. If you had to drop one snap, if you had to, which one? I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop the, the A's hat. Jason Kidd, I'm sorry. You got to go. You want to drop the pizza hat? No, I I just never seen it before. Uh, I love pizza. I'm and with the, Snap. I love pizza. The bridge that the way the way the logo is the bridge with the pizza. It just it just makes sense to me, man. Leon, if you had to drop one of these hats from his to get it down the floor, which would it be? I'm dropping the pizza. How about you, Jason? No, you're right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm dropping. I'm obviously. I'm gonna drop the pizza too. All right, we'll drop the pizza then. But I'm keeping it for me. Well, Back all right, guys. Yeah. Good show. And uh, Fausto, be nice. Be nice, Fausto. The, this is the beginning. Oh, of you know what? This guy, Fausto, is an idiot. He doesn't like anything. No, no, he's been negative. He's, no, 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 no. Fuck this guy. He no. has been negative the whole show from the be very beginning. He's like no, a fucking hater. I, I, don't I, he, I don't even know why he watches the show at all. He's team Leon. All he does is fucking Hold on. Hold on. The whole time. No, dead ass, dead ass. Just oh, earlier on the show, oh, listen. Every episode, every episode, he Hold comes on, on and he on. just. Jebbity, 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 yeah. Hold on, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna put. Uh, you say he's always negative, right? Watch this, watch this. Yeah. Watch. watch, watch. I'm gonna find that comment. Ah, uh, it's gonna take. I can't find it. No, he no, basically no, no. started by saying it's the best show he watches. He had a Japanese beer. I remember seeing the comment. 
Yeah, whiskey. He said. No, all he does is all day is complaining, fucking complaining, ask about Golden Corral. I oh, got it. <laughs> oh shit! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on before we go. Not the Golden Corral. He, he always says. Ask about, he did ask about Golden Corral. I saw that. He always says Team Leon, so I like him. I fuck with him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like he doesn't. I I think Snap. Maybe he just doesn't like care for you. I don't know. <laughs> He's not Team Leon, right? It could be. Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't care for me. He's against women's rights. He doesn't believe what? In Where are you uh, coming up with that? He's a Trump supporter. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where are you coming up with all that shit, dude? Yeah, so I don't know, bro. Huh? All right, guys. Well, listen, this is a good show. Fausto, we still we still like you. It's just Snap. We don't Snap doesn't speak. Um I don't uh, speak Fausto. <laughs> Look at even Blank and Brims. Is, he said Fausto <laughs> stopped to being me. <laughs> he just stop being mean to my friend. <laughs> Yo, that's the best thing. Yo, Blanket is so funny, man. Get out of here. He man. said, "Stop being mean to my friend." Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm in Nebraska, we'll hang out. Uh, like, we'll out All right, guys, we gotta go because Jason's gonna fall asleep. So, listen, this was a great <laughs> show. I want to thank all of you for joining us this evening. Uh, Leon, uh, thank you uh, for taking a stand. I loved it, man. You took a stand. You said, you know, I'm not going to stand for this shit. And I love yeah. that. I love your passion. Arian, you were a fantastic guest. You did a great job. You thank were, you, uh, thank you. You were great on uh, on Mailcom Monday, and you're just as great here. So thank you so much. Jason, thank, thank you, you for toughing out a three-hour show. You, <laughs> you did amazing, buddy. You did amazing. You did amazing. He looks thrilled. A snap. Despite- I'm glad I'm not going to be here next week. Despite um, Fausto's um, disregard for the care and effort you put into the shopping cart, I think you did a great job. I love that you were with all of your uh, people in Bangladesh, making sure the hats are getting made appropriately. So thank you for that. Um, I want to thank all of you for joining us. And with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, for Arian, uh, Jason, Snap, Leon, and Pierre, we out of here. See I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, yeah, Trang is Leon's number. One. This is this is Leon's number one fan. Uh, Trang, <laughs> shout out to Trang. <laughs>